Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, a very rare Thursday stream. Um, I made an offer to, uh, to, to, uh, um, look, uh, good, we'll do, we'll do a real, we'll do a real, uh, we'll do a real intro, a very rare, uh, Thursday stream. So look, I wrote this blog post, um, you know, uh, Our, 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 uh, I wrote this blog post, um, let's see, 10 months ago. Thank you. Uh, like, you know, I, I like being like really uh, honest and some of this stuff in here just was wrong. Um, I, I don't think we can get AMD on ML perf. Like we could, but it's not the generic flexible work uh, I thought it would be. So my my strategy was basically um, I, I still like I, I like this blog post. I got quite a bit of praise for this blog post. Um, if you were to tape out your own chip, you'd be struggling with both hardware bugs and software bugs. You wouldn't be uh, sure which one it is. Here you have a good idea and have the AMD provided driver as an open source reference. Um, I didn't understand. And again, this is this is my fault. You could be like, George, you're an idiot. You should have known this. And like, okay, you know what? I saw some guy on Hacker News say, I'm an optimist. And for the most part, I am an optimist. So the, the problem is, What's open source is called the AMD GPU driver, and we're gonna we're gonna dive into this a lot today. Um, unfortunately, the AMD GPU driver uh, is not where the bugs are in AMD's stuff. Um, I had assumed first off that there weren't bugs in hardware. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. Of course, there can be bugs in hardware. Um, but what did I want to bring up here? Uh, okay, so let's uh, let's start by cloning the kernel. Uh, we can go. There's a branch. I linked to it from another blog book. So, for those of you new here, I started a company uh, almost a year ago, and our goal was our goal eventually is to build chips. Our goal eventually is to build uh, AI accelerator chips. But if you just start building chips you're going to run into a real problem. PyTorch and friends, PyTorch, TensorFlow, uh, Jax to less of an extent, but really like PyTorch and TensorFlow are designed. PyTorch is designed around GPUs. Uh, TensorFlow is designed around TPUs. Uh, at, inside Google, TensorFlow works. So what you start to realize is you're not going to be able to build a chip unless you build a framework. And you know, we like TensTorrent on the stream, but this still applies to, to TensTorrent. Like it's cool as a piece of hardware, but buying Xeon Phi cards was cool as a piece of hardware. Unless you've built your own framework, your chip is not going to succeed. Um, and like TensTorrent is trying to integrate with PyTorch. I said that was, that was what I think is the biggest mistake they're making. Uh, they have a new paradigm of compute and with a new paradigm of compute, you need a new framework. Uh, so I think the only way to start with an AI chip company is to start with the software. Uh, the compute in ML is not general purpose computing. We can do a lot in framework and that's what TinyGrad is and we're still hard at work on TinyGrad. Um, so I thought that we would bootstrap on AMD. I thought that we would use AMD chips. We spent a lot of time building these AMD computers. Um, I took pre-orders for them. George, why did you take pre-orders before you qualified the product? You're a piece of shit. The pre-orders are $100 and fully refundable. Uh, you know, I never even said AMD on the website. But, like, I'm not making excuses. Like, this, this didn't work out the way that I thought it was going to work out, uh, obviously. Um, you know, I didn't take anyone's money. George, you scam people with cheapy. You find someone who was scammed, right? Like, like... George switches jobs every, every six months. I, I've had I've had 
two jobs for the last seven years, one at a company I started for six years that's now profitable and one at a company that, you know, it's a year old startup, it's a struggle, all right? So, you know, just, just, I'm all for haters, but, you know, please, please uh, improve your hate. Uh, please, please, please. All I ask for is factually accurate hate. Uh, so, why did you take pre-orders? Well, you know, to see, to see if there's interest. Now you're in line, right? Um, I'll, I, you know, if we raise $5 million, I'm happy to, uh, of course, refund anyone's pre-order. Um, I will even, even if the company goes bankrupt, George, the company is going to go bankrupt. Your time is never going to ship a product. We have $4.6 million in the bank account and we have more assets than capital that we raised. I could sell the assets on eBay and make, that's not even the point, right? Now, am I defending myself against straw man? Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about where I, where I messed up, right? You know what? I, I, I just, I just like, like we live in clown world. I, I saw a video yesterday where uh, this woman tries to kick squatters out of her house and she's arrested. And I feel like that's the same like clown world we live in here. You are really not understanding who the scammers are. Um, you know, I, I just... Uh, are we centralizing the pay to flop? No, 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 we're not centralizing the pay to flop. But I wanna talk about the mistake I made um, so that nobody repeats this mistake. So why does no one use AMD? Uh, the software is terrible. There's kernel panics in the driver. You have to use a newer kernel than Ubuntu. I'm not sure the driver puts supporting two cars in, right? So I had assumed that the driver was basically just two pieces. I had assumed that the driver was the kernel space and user space. Tidygrad has removed the user space entirely. We now have a... A, a competitive AMD stack using absolutely zero of their user space. And I verified this last night. Um, you can see here my don't include hip comment. We've ripped out all of AMD's user space. The only two things that are left are HSA Rock R, which is a very tiny minimum HSA runtime that we could replace. Like we could replace HSA runtime with an engineer week or two of work. And then co-manager is their compiler. Um, Again, could we replace the compiler? Sure. We already have a PTX backend. We could write an RDNA 3 backend. That's probably something more like two or three engineer months of work. But these are the only two components we're using from AMD's user space. And I confirmed that right now, I set this computer up last night. And don't worry, this is a real stream. We're going to do things. I set this computer up last night uh, with 650 kernel. You don't even need to install, you can use trunk AMD GPU, install these two dependencies, and then TinyGrad HSA works. So we've ripped out the entire user space. We succeeded at that. Where I messed up was I didn't understand. And like, again, I'm just, I'm, 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 it's stupid. It's stupid. It's, I, I I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to, I'm going to show you exactly what I didn't understand. Um, and I guess, you know, I should have thought about it more and mostly I'm just, I'm, I'm upset with myself. Uh, so this is, uh, AMD staging DRM next. This is where, by the way, I don't think we're going to get anyone. Notice how the tens torn people came in this stream. We're not going to get anyone from AMD in the stream. And if we do, they're going to give me business platitudes. I'm also upset with myself that because I get added by Lisa Sue on Twitter, I think I have some access to AMD. All AMD did for us was basically like, I was just their unpaid QA team. I was their unpaid QA team for, for, uh, for nine months. And look, I'm not saying, oh, I'm a victim. I'm not saying any of that, right? Like I made mistakes and I'm here. This is my apology video. This is my apology video to you for over-promising and underperforming, which you know, I, I really hate doing. And however mad you might be at me, trust me, I'm way more mad at myself. We use the stream to process emotions. Okay, so let's let's on this. Um, so this is AMD staging DRM next, and we're going to start taking a look at the uh, at the driver. Uh, the driver is actually in trunk, which is cool. Uh, but even though the driver is in trunk, it turns out that what I didn't understand was the bugs are not in the driver. Um, I had assumed that the bugs were not in the hardware. To be honest, I'm not even sure. The bugs may very well be in the hardware. Uh, I don't think so, 
but at, at this point I can't rule it out because the bugs are not in the kernel driver. So while this is cloning, I'll show you in TinyGrad, um, uh, Nimblegen in our Discord wrote a, uh, an HSA driver. So HSA is a layer below HIP, and HSA basically directly talks with the GPU. Uh, it doesn't even talk to the kernel driver. So, so GPUs, the way that they work is they have, uh, they have command queues, and these command queues are parsed by what I thought was basically GPU hardware. Um, there's nothing in the kernel. So you, you have something called an AQL queue. This is like a, these packets, this kernel dispatch packet is basically like a, like a CLNQ kernel or a CUDA launch kernel call. And uh, then you, you, know, you set the size, uh, you set the program, uh, you know, you set a bunch of a bunch of flags on the packet. It's great. Okay, you set the arguments for the for the kernel. Um, so, uh, let's open up. No, that's not the right computer. No, but like, you know, guys, I'm just, I'm just, I'm angry. I'm, I'm upset with myself for letting this go on for as long as I did, for not understanding stuff. Um, you know, I, I don't like, I really don't like being wrong. All right, uh, that's probably fine. We'll open the whole Linux tree. That'd be kind of fast. Yeah, I trust the authors of the Linux kernel, sure. Okay, so let's go in here to drivers, uh, GPU, DRM. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I do want to open the actual, because otherwise search is going to be annoying. I could probably restrict the search. No, ah, what's the m and line? I'm harder on myself than you could ever be regardless. I'm, I'm really, I'm mad at myself. I messed up. Um, now I'll show you, I'll show you, I'll show you what I messed up. And it's, it's just, it's sad. It's really sad. Uh, okay. So it turns out that the kernel driver doesn't contain any of the stuff that parses these queues. It turns out the kernel driver doesn't actually talk to the hardware of the GPU. Now I knew this was true about AMD's driver, uh, Intel, Intel. NVIDIA's driver. It's hard for me to keep these straight. NVIDIA has this thing called the GSP, and the GSP runs on a RISC-V processor inside the uh, NVIDIA GPU. Uh, they, basically, when NVIDIA open sourced their driver, they didn't actually open source shit. They just compiled their driver and got the driver to run on the GPU, and then open source some like communication layer that, uh, that sits on top of it. And that's what the AMD open source driver is. Um, so it turns out that AMD is like this too. AMD has a crap ton of complexity in the kernel, but then they have a crap ton more complexity in the, uh, in the, in the device. So there's this thing called the MES, and I thought that these things were in the MES, but no, 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 it goes way deeper than the MES. So maybe we can find LLVM uh, AMD, GPU launching a kernel. And this is even before the uh, the MES was a thing. Okay, here we go. So this will actually talk about it a little bit. Um, so uh, MES stands for Micro Engine Scheduler. The driver is basically just communicating with opaque uh, firmware blobs uh, that are that are uh, running in the GPU. So it uploads some firmware to some processors in the GPU, and we're going to go into the, what the firmware actually is on this stream. Honestly, I don't really know. I haven't really looked into it. Uh, I don't know. I I'm, I'm upset with myself. I, I got fooled that like like AMD is like, oh, we're going to fix the bug. We're going to fix the bug. Um, I'll show you the document that made me sure that AMD is never going to fix these bugs. Uh, I'm sorry for not structuring my stream better. Um, 
but yeah so uh, these things are this is this MES is not a harbor object uh, this MES is just signed hidden closed source software running inside the GPU um, this is what the old version of kernel dispatch looked like before the MES I'm not really sure how it uh, works but there's this thing called the CP that's the command processor uh, the command processor executes microcode and is responsible for detecting and setting up the GPU to execute wavefronts of kernel dispatch. Um, CP ensures that when a wavefront starts executing the kernel code, uh, the scalar general purpose, blah, 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 blah. My point is, what the hell is the CP? Right? The, the CP is not hardware. The CP is hidden closed source software running on the GPU. This driver is just a wrapper around that. Like, again, coming back to we ripped out all of AMD's user space, all of AMD's hyper complex hip. It, Tiny Grad doesn't need it anymore. Tiny Grad doesn't need any more of that, and it's 6,500 lines. And I can rip out this with 50 lines, and I can rip out this with uh, a couple hundred lines. Right? We got rid of the entire complex user space, but it turns out there's nothing in the kernel driver either. The, the kernel driver is, it's, 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 it's nothing. It just passes things through. It's the same as NVIDIA's open source kernel driver. There's just closed source firmware blobs that run on the GPU. Now, maybe these firmware blobs are very simple. Well, could someone link, could someone go on my Twitter and link the, uh, go on TinyGrad's Twitter and link the PDF of the change log for ROCKM0, uh, uh, six zero three. Also, I'm not trying to be mean here. Like, I'm really not. I'm not trying to like say that you know these are bad people or, or anything like that, right? I'm sure no one wants to be in this situation. But again, you know, I I I, I said that I was going to get AMD on ML perf. Um, this is just probably not going to happen. Uh, I I can't go to Twitter. Can you link the actual PDF? No, AMD did not announce they're open sourcing the blobs. And I actually, I realized that they did tell me they were going to open source something, but I realized I was getting scammed and I was getting scammed for two reasons. Is the stack better on Instinct? Well, we can talk about Instinct and we can talk about why it may be a tiny bit better, but uh, overall, I doubt it. Can someone link the PDF? No, we don't have Twitter on my computer. No, 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 no. Link the PDF to the, to the change log. All right, we'll unblock, we'll unblock Twitter. We'll unblock Twitter. I, you know, I just, I've, I've, I'm done with Twitter too. Like, it's just, it's just a lot of, it's a lot of talking, you know? Thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is the, this is the change log. Okay, again, I'm not trying to be mean here. I'm just trying to explain to you why I believe that AMD firmware will never get better unless something radically changes inside that organization. And another thing I've realized, another thing that just like upsets me. You want to read a comment? Let's read a comment. I, I read this comment and I, I liked it because it wasn't total. Uh... I read your comments, by the way. So, you know, say mean things. I, I love it. Um... So, uh, this is not really a scale that applies to people. People like Hots are fascinating. There's a lot of similarities between him and Musk and the question of how could a person be... You don't, you don't really want to hear about me. The, the, the only thing that like, I, I want to like, emphasize by this is companies do not work how Elon's companies work. Companies are... They're, they're, they don't make good things. They don't want things to be like, it's not that they don't. The people who succeed in companies are not the ones who care. And I, I just, it's just, it's just a sad fact about the world. Like here, one could make an art here. This is the paragraph that, that, that I want to emphasize, right? It's not really about me. One could make an argument that when looking at successful tech companies that won in a sector, like Apple with consumer electronics, Amazon with online shopping, none of them did it like Comet or TinyGrad. 
I personally want nothing more for Hotz's companies to succeed, which would truly be disruption at its core, but I don't think they will. It seems like you have to essentially engage with all people as humans and appeal to them. But when you view human when you view humanity from a viewpoint of he mixed it up here, from each according to his needs to each according to his ability, which is what capitalism should be, and tweet about it, it's pretty clear that you dislike a large portion of humanity. I don't think it's a large portion. I don't think it's the majority, but there is certainly a group of humanity that I strongly dislike. And of course, engaging with people like that means you have to appeal to the professional managerial class, which goes strictly against his ideology. Um, I mean, that's, I love comments like this, right? That's, that's, that's a comment that really hits. And I, I think it, it explains also why the AMD firmware is, is not going to get better. Um, now, let's talk about his concrete suggestion and I can talk about why, again, I, um, he, he also talks about, uh, the thing is for a smart person who has a personality like that, you can take a narrative that fits within the ideology they're almost guaranteed to believe it, whether it's actually true or not. Because then denying it would mean that their ideology isn't correct, which would mean their entire life has been wasted on wrong things. And no person would ever self-destruct like that. I would. I would. I mean, if I genuinely came to believe that the things that I believe are wrong, I will correct it. And this, this, this AMD thing has, again, it has taught me lessons that I was too slow to learn before. Um, and there, there's not, you know, there's not an excuse for that. Um, I'm okay with, you know, saying things were wasted. I'm okay with saying I didn't understand how things work. But let's also be careful to not just, you know, change right away. Let's truly ask, is this correct? For Kama AI, that would look like playing nice with investors, getting more money, hiring a wide range of talent local and remote, which would put them on a stage where car companies take them seriously and want to work with them. At which point, dedicating resources to making hardware, they can actually be making the software a shitload better, which is the core of their mission of solving AI. And yes, they'd have to be a bullshit, they would have to sift through, but that's just an unavoidable fact of life. Let's concretely talk about that statement, right? And I, I, re reading this makes me think that this actually isn't correct. Um, frequently, frequently, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm pushing the CTO of Kama that I want to scale up the models. I want to spend more money, I want to buy more computers, and I want to train larger models. And he pushes back on me and he's like, George, look, like, we can do that, but it's not going to fundamentally make uh, things better. Like, we have problems that we need to solve. Just throwing money at this is not going to make the problem better. And I'll point out to this commenter that Kama AI still exists, is profitable. And actually, right now with the sale, we're crushing it. We're starting to hit a million dollars a month in sales. We, we had over a million dollars in sales last month. Like, compare that to most other self-driving startups. Most other self-driving startups just failed. Most other self-driving startups burn through way more money. I saw a guy on Hacker News saying that George did nothing but burn through VC dollars. And I almost think that he must be mistaking me from some, for someone else, right? So also, I mean, this guy seems to have some sticky thing about remote work. Uh, the, the only reason TinyGrad kind of can work remotely is because it's a software company, not a hardware company. Um, also, dedicating resources to making hardware, they can actually be making the software a shitload better. <laughs> we have two people on the hardware and we have everybody on the software. Like, it's not like there's anybody on the hardware. So when I read things like this, it does make me think that I am fundamentally correct about these things. But I'm very careful to like, uh, if my entire life's been wasted on wrong things, I accept that and I will change. You have to be. You, you have to be willing to, to, to do that. Because, you know, in one of my sayings, like, I really like being right, but not at the expense of being wrong. Um, and, yeah, I, I was wrong. And, like, could we get AMD on MLPerf? Yes. Would we end up doing a lot of mitigations and workaround work that have nothing to do with TinyGrad's core mission? Yes. Um, with the firmware, with access to the firmware, I would at least feel like we are, uh, you know, making progress towards something. Not 
well this. Okay, so let's get back, let's get back into this. Um, so this is how you dispatch a kernel uh, on an AMD GPU. You use the architected queuing language, which, uh, you know, again, you can see the implementation here. Uh, in TinyGrad, it's in runtime driver HSA. Uh, here's our here's our AQLQ implementation. You can submit these packets, copy the packets, whatever. You wait for the queue. Normal normal like GPU command queue stuff. If you have experience with this, okay. So uh, this stuff is all in user space. But then you get to this stuff, and this stuff exists inside the CP. Okay. So when you submit your queue, the queue does not actually go to the hardware. It goes to this hidden secret blob called the CP. I don't really know where the CP is, and you know, look, my, my title is a little bit clickbait, but uh, you know, maybe we can actually do it. Um, so this is the change that 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 uh, made me realize that this firmware is never ever ever going to get better unless some stuff radically changes. Okay, the AMD GPU has a unit called the command processor in charge of driving work based on the information provided by the driver. Okay, I mean. Like, first off, that's like, uh, that's technically wrong, right? And, and it's interesting that you, so much is given away in like subtleties of language. So, well, first off, like who's driving work, right? Like, like when I think of someone driving the work, it's like someone like, you know, like, 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 like smuggling, you know, pounds of weed from, from, from California to Utah, right? They were driving the work, right? We got the cocaine and the trunk and the spare tire, right? No, look, okay, right, 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 right. Um, uh information provided by the driver so like i just like 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 even you can kind of tell from that phrase you can tell from that phrase that like you just wouldn't say that right um the it, it runs cues handed by the runtime right the the, the, the runtime the the hsa runtime uh submits cues so the, the hip runtime really submits the cues hsa kind of lets you construct the cues yourself um okay for compute workloads, there's a handshake between the CP and the underlining hardware, underlining hardware, uh, when dispatching uh, new kernels and waves to ensure the required resources are available. Um, those dispatches can be committed in order or out of order. In older hardware, the outer order setting conflicted with fast contact switching and was disabled. Uh, the setting was inherited by new hardware, even though more recent designs do allow the outer order setting to work properly. Uh, during dispatch, it's also possible to pre-allocate resources associated with certain waves. The combination of an unbounded pre-allocation with in-order dispatches enabled could result in a deadlock due to a lack of resources over time, depending on a use case. Okay? So if you have a statement like that, the next thing I expect to see is root causing. Right? You want to root cause why. Why does an in-order dispatch result in a deadlock due to a lack of resources, right? Deadlocks don't occur due to a lack of resources. There's no, there's no such thing as a, as, a, as a deadlock due to lack of resources, right? A deadlock is, let's say, let's, say, um, let's say you have two kernels, right? And you have 10 resources, and one kernel needs seven resources, and the other kernel needs nine resources, right? And they've acquired these resources in a loop. Computer science 101. Uh, let's say each of them have five, right? So now all 10 resources are allocated, five to each, but neither of them can make progress, right? So, you know, one of them needs seven, one of them needs nine, so neither of them can make progress, so you have a deadlock, okay? That's how you get a deadlock uh, due to a lack of resources. But of course, the problem is not actually due to a lack of resources. What you need is the one that needs nine to give up at least two of them, so the one that needs seven can make progress, right? This is, this is a like, classic problem in scheduling, and it's fixable using classical techniques. They did not fix it. Changing to out-of-order dispatches on newer hardware can prevent deadlocks from occurring while still allowing fast context switching. We did not figure out why the in-order deadlocks. We switched to out-of-order and no longer observed the deadlock. I I'm just like... I was briefly a TA for operating systems at CMU. And if I saw this kind of shit on an exam, <laughs> you know, you're not allowed to fail people in college anymore. And again, I'm not saying this to make fun of anybody. I'm saying this to 
explain what I read to tell you why this firmware is never ever going to get better. Unless it's open source, right? Maybe if it's open source. Now, you know, I, again, I still can't make any promises if the firmware is open source. This may be due to the, the hardware just being broken. But like the solution to in-order dispatches resulting in a deadlock should be fixing that bug, not changing to out-of-order dispatches, right? Okay. Again, these people know a lot more about this GPU than I do. Maybe there's something I'm not understanding here. Maybe out-of-order dispatches do fix it. It's just not explained well. Okay, so let's let's take another sample. Let's read the 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 firmware change in the MES. Okay, uh, the micro engine scheduler. And you know what? Again, also like props to AMD for releasing this. All right, props to AMD for releasing this. And I really don't want their takeaway to be, well, shit. We should never have released any change logs because they're going to be interpreted like this. The 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 solution to criticism is not opaqueness. The solution to criticism is fixing the issues. I'm not saying this is unfixable. I'm saying that like something is wrong here. Okay. Let's read, let's read this one. Let's read this one. Okay. The micro engine schedule is a hardware engine used by blah 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 blah. The micro engine it interacts with the kernel driver via a ring buffer. Oh, this is actually a lot more correct. Right? This is a lot more correct than the CP. It interacts with the kernel driver via a ring buffer to schedule user queues to the hardware queues of each engine. We can actually, there's a cool thing called uh, MES API, uh, and it actually explains how this stuff works, okay? So this is, this is the MES API. You can add queues, you can suspend them, you can resume them, pretty cool. So you can submit queues to the MES, great. So that's, that's actually correct. Okay, MES process, which again, the MES process is secret closed source firmware running God knows where on the GPU, gets corrupted when the driver reuses the process context memory after calling this to enable shader debugger, but not adding any queues, okay? So it calls this function to enable the debugger, but then doesn't add any queues. Since queues are not added to the process, the debugger process will not be removed from the process linked list. And when the driver reuses the memory and overwrites the field, the linked list will become corrupted. Okay, great. So that's totally reasonable. It, it, I mean, again, that's, that's a normal bug, right? So, so we have this, we have this, uh, we have this, this call to, to enable the shader debugger. Uh, but when you forget to add queues, it doesn't get uh, removed from the process linked list. Okay, normal bug. The solution is to add a new flag to the MES API for a driver to set to remove the shader debugger process. This flag should only be used if queues were not added to the process. Oh God. I, you know what? I don't know how many people are watching right now. And I, I don't know how many people like have enough of an appreciation for software development to understand how horrifying that is. Okay. So now you have a flag. If you added queues, do not set the flag. If you did not add queues, you must set the flag. God. What happens if you add queues and set the flag? What happens if you, like, why is this a flag? Uh, am I missing something? Or is this why... AMD drivers have been shit for 25 years and are not going to get any better. Again, I can't fix any of this. I'm happy to, but I can't. I don't have the MES. I don't have the CP. Right? This should be an if statement in the deallocator. This should not be a flag. Why don't they just detect if they're accused directly? What's this weird shit? Sir Max MD knows what's up. Now I'm wondering how many workaround flags they have. Exactly what you should be wondering, right? Does everyone understand why? Like, this is what I saw to make me know this will never get better. Right, we're going to have to unblock Twitter.
Can someone link my tweet, my offer to AMD? I'm not logged into Twitter. I don't understand. Oh, you don't understand why the flag is this bad. Well, go back to, you know. Oh, let's introduce a new microservice to check for flags. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, here's my offer to 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 AMD. Uh, no need to hire me. Just open source the firmware docs and remove the signature check. We'll treat it like bring up for our own chip. All right. I, I, I like. I've rewritten your entire user space. Not me, but TinyCorp has rewritten your entire user space. Right. I'm happy to rewrite your entire kernel and firmware space too. Right. Proof though, you can go right now in TinyGrad and you can install just these two dependencies and run Llama and run everything with those two dependencies. We've bypassed AMD's entire user space stack. I'm happy to do the same for their kernel stack and their firmware stack, but I need access to it. So that's my offer. Right. You're AMD, I, I don't, I don't understand why you don't take me up on that, right? I, you know what it is? You know what? You know why you don't take me up on that? Because you're downside risk. Uh, when you're in a large company, the only thing that can motivate you is fear. Um, I don't understand how there isn't enough fear uh, struck into this company by AMD. Like, but it, it's I don't even think it like works that way, right? I don't even think it works that way. None of these people feel like there's an existential risk, like. Like, and it got worse. You know, the more, the more aggressive I've been, the more platitudes I started getting. The more, like, general business jargon bullshit I started getting, right? Because honestly, I don't think they're worried about the driver being shit. I think they're worried about this kind of PR, right? I don't think they're worried about the firmware. I don't think they're worried about the flags. That doesn't seem to be their priority. Their priority seems to be, oh, well, you know, we don't want George shitting on us on Twitter. Right? We'll make your software good. You know? AMD driver ramp part two. And like, why? Again, again, I don't blame AMD. I blame myself. I blame myself. It's, it's yeah. It's like an abusive relationship, you know? Uh, just, just. Um, yeah. Oh, I, I bet, I don't know. Again, I have no insight into the firmware development process, but it seems like the kind of thing where there's no version control and tar balls and, you know, questionable regression testing. Like, yeah. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, that's, that's the rant. You know, it's a time for the coding. This is the price of being an optimist. I always think, yeah. Uh, maybe change can come, but it needs... All right, well, well, let's engage with chat for five minutes. And then let's find some exploits in the firmware. Because maybe AMD is just worried that they can't open source it because they're worried that someone might find exploits. And we can show them that you don't need to have open source code, to have people find exploits. Uh, God, they're not Sony 2.0, look. They're nowhere near as bad as Sony. Sony sued me, and that's unforgivable. Do you understand suing somebody is threatening them, is using the government to threaten them with violence? Um, I'm led by my emotions right now. Again, I don't know, what do you mean by that? Right? Like, you need some emotional impetus to accept that thousand hours of work and a hundred thousand dollars just needs to be just needs to be sunk, right? Like it's hard to it's hard to not be emotional about that, right? It's hard to, to not be emotional when you worked for a year basically on something. And look, ninety five percent of Tiny Grad has nothing to do with any of this. Tiny Grad will continue. This this will be a a bad memory in the rearview mirror, like the comma one. You know, it just seems like the year into Kama is the same shit. Uh, like, guess what? We're selling Kama 3Xs now. You know, we're selling a thousand of them a month. Like, shit's pretty good, man. Just, just, just took years. Uh, you know. But no, we, we can't get AMD on MLPerf unless, like, 
here's my offer, right? And I'm not gonna, I'm not taking like a, like a, like a promise that something will be done in three months, right? Like, no. No, 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 no. Not HDMI, that's not the problem. You don't understand their move to remove web GPU backend. Uh, a web GPU backend is not like, again, it's something that we had to maintain. It had a bunch of weird quirks about it and it's not really the target of TinyGrad. Um, can you read out the firmware and reverse engineer it? Again, like how much do we want to reward this behavior, right? What would be the target now with NVIDIA GPUs? It's the same target. It just it doesn't look sexy anymore when it's like, we're gonna get NVIDIA, we're gonna get tiny grad on, AM, on ML Perf, right? Like it just, it's just the narrative's not good, but the narrative just doesn't matter. Running a tiny grad example made my AMD GPU reset with a black screen, yeah. So what about Instinct? Okay, uh, so we can talk about Instinct. So uh, we, have the, we have the driver up here. Um, so, uh, again, here's some alpha for AMD investors, okay? So, um, here are NVIDIA generations. Right. Uh, yeah, those aren't good. All right, so N NVIDIA basically has uh, a bunch of generations, okay? So they have Turing. Um, they have Ampere, uh, so Ampere was, uh, Ampere was, I'm going to do this from memory, we'll see if it's right. Ampere was 3090s and A100s. So they shared this Ampere generation. The AMD server GPUs, uh, sorry, the Intel data center GPUs are about half a generation ahead of the consumer GPUs. Uh, so I believe that, that, uh, yeah, Ampere was the 3090 and A100. Uh, then they diverge for the 4090 series. So the 4090 is ADA and the H100 is Hopper. Hopper is a little bit ahead of ADA. It's looking like they are going to reconverge on Blackwell. So Blackwell is both the, the one that was just announced at GTC and Blackwell is also the, uh, going to be the consumer 5090, uh, if they make a consumer 5090. Um, so AMD has managed to stay ahead generationally with their server parts. Uh, AMD has not. So you look, if you look in this firmware, uh, in, this, in this driver, uh, you'll see a bunch of things called uh, GFX. So GFX is, is the graphics core and the 7900 XTX is, is GFX. By the way, ooh, don't you like these module firmwares? Well, that's what we're gonna be looking in a minute. Um, so yeah, the, the GFX 11 is the uh, 7900 XTX. The MI Instinct series was forked at GFX 9. And that's why you have these, I'm pretty sure this is right, this is why you have these weird like GFX 942, GFX 943. I'm not 100% on this, but I would guess that this GFX 943 is, is the MI uh, 300. Um, so AMD had RDNA, uh, then they made RDNA 2, GFX 10, and RDNA 3, GFX 11. But CDNA is still back here. CDNA was forked at RDNA, and they've just kind of put hacks on it, probably, again, complete speculation, but probably because it's the only place the firmware was, uh, was stable. Uh, the MES was added after that. Like, and then they just, like, this document shows if MI Instincts worked at all, how they made them work. Like, yes, you, you, can, you, can, you can build a house by just repeatedly slapping boards in places everywhere water comes in. But wouldn't it be nice to just like make one nice solid roof and just be like, wow, that's a nice roof. Instead of just, oh shit, there's a leak. Oh shit, oh, they reported a leak to us. Let's go, let's go nail some boards in, all right? I don't know, man. What if we what if we switch the deflector polarity, right? Like, uh, 
A- Nvidia is basically uh, they're not. Let's 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 be careful before we call Nvidia a monopoly. Apple is a monopoly. Apple is a monopoly, and I hope they get crushed in their in their case. Apple locking the iPhone to basically only use Safari, only use the App Store, uh, not letting you um, integrate your own payment stuff. Uh, yeah, so Apple's a monopoly. A- NVIDIA's not. Apple locks you in and ships the same shit iPhone every year, right? Like, the iPhone hasn't improved in a long time. How, how, how much better is an iPhone 15 versus an iPhone 11? That doesn't matter. Um... But people are locked into the iPhone because of the monopoly. And when you have a monopoly lock in like that, people will still, you know, upgrade on a cadence just because they're kind of locked in. NVIDIA is not like that. Uh, the, the new Blackwell chip, if it's really priced at $30,000, I think it almost may no longer make sense to, to build clusters of consumer GPUs. I don't think that'll be the price. Uh, but if the, if the Blackwell B200 is truly priced at 30 k uh, it's an amazing chip, and you know, props to props to Nvidia for that. Uh, so it's not a monopoly, right? Also, we built a one tiny box has has four or forty uh, six forty nineties in it, and I think the tiny box we're going to end up selling is just going to be forty nineties. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's not. Oh, you think B two hundred is way more? No, H one hundreds are not forty k. Get them cheaper than that. Uh, yeah, if B two hundred turns out to be way more than, well, I mean they can charge a hundred k. So I think the estimate to make an H one hundred is three k, and the estimate to make a B two hundred is six k. Like they have so much margin to play with. So I do think that we are going to be stuck in Nvidia for a long time. However, if Nvidia does price gouge for the B two hundred. People are going to more seriously consider AMD. I wouldn't. Uh, like, not until they seriously fix this stuff, right? I don't like... Look, look, Lam and I got them working. From what I heard, the Lam and I CTO is very good and did tons of workarounds. Um, you can probably make MI300 work for, like, a single transformer training workload. A lot of these, like, Q things, it's like... If you're willing to waste thousands of engineer hours on mitigations, it's probably fine. But the idea of tiny grad is every piece of the stack is going to be good and correct. Um, are their profit margins just huge, or is R and D cost a lot? I mean, R and D costs a lot. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, also, there's no R D N A four. Uh, the AMD guy in Discord was like saying like, oh, you know, we want to we want to fix this for the future. We want to fix this for the long term. I'm like, there is no long term. Like there was like a narrow window here kind of to make this work. Um, I'm also like how long it took me to ship the tiny box. Like it turns out it's way harder than you think it is. Now, all these people who are like, I'm going to build my own. Like, I <laughs> mean, go try it. <laughs> go try it. In a year, if you spend a year on it, you might do it. Right. Like, or, I mean, look, here, two, two hypotheses. One, you're smarter and more motivated than me, and you'll get it done faster. Two, you have a lower bar for how good it has to be, and you'll get it done faster. But otherwise, like, how are you going to get it done faster? It takes, it takes a year to build these things that are pretty good. Um, no, I don't think Dojo chips. I think the problem with Dojo chips is the same problem that plagues every AI accelerator company. I think that, like, Tens Torrent has the right idea. It's still going to be such a long journey uh, and they should stop at their PyTorch integration and start thinking about, okay, how do we actually build a tens torrent software stack? Um, Gaudi is interesting. I mean, we can look. This, this ML perf is really good for, uh, for judging who's, who's legit. And we can see who's on here. So, uh, NVIDIA, TPU, lots of NVIDIA. Ooh, NAN. NAN's doing pretty well. Um, Intel Gaudi 2. So there are Intel Gaudi 2s training BERT, ResNet, GPT-3, Stable Diffusion. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of a good mark for... Uh, 
for for Intel. Uh, but I think yeah, the only other one on here besides uh, Nvidia and Google. Yeah. Um, no AMD. No tens to warrant. Like it means if you're not on here, it means your accelerator definitely doesn't work. All right, this, this right here is absolute proof that you should not buy an MI300X. If, if, if AMD can't get their thing on ML Perf, like, why not? Does your PyTorch port work? I mean, if your PyTorch port works, it should just kind of work, right? Um, yeah. I don't know. And yeah, I was, you know, I was optimistic. I was optimistic and... Uh, Removal of turn completeness is still very much in tiny grad. I mean, so okay, what are the steps from here? I mean, the steps are here, like it's not sexy, but we're just gonna do, we're gonna do NVIDIA. AMD's making awesome CPUs. Yeah, you know, you know who made that CPU. Um, <laughs> uh, Jim Keller returned to AMD, where his primary task was to lead development of a new x86-64 and ARM microarchitecture called Zen and K12. Guess what Zen became? <laughs> Ryzen and Epic. In other words, <laughs> AMD's good CPU is really all thanks to Jim Keller. <laughs> <laughs> Um, he made the Tesla chip. <laughs> this is how you know Intel's fucked. <laughs> and this is why you, uh, you have hope for Tens to uh, And then, of course, there's Atomic Semi, which is very exciting. You can, you can look into them. Um, but yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so you want to talk about who built that good CPU for, 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 uh, for AMD. Um, and, and look, and, and look at how tense Tor is. You know, uh, I, was, I was talking with Alex this morning and like, I mean, AMD is never actually going to do this. Like, it's kind of a troll. Like, it's kind of a, th there is no way that like, Anyone at AMD has the balls to do this. And this is, this is what makes the like Elon companies so successful. You know, my time at Twitter was brief, but man, you know, just, just increases my respect overall. Like even if there's differences of like, you know, opinion on some stuff, man, just, just the man can execute. Uh, no, I wouldn't do an unpaid internship at AMD. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't want to participate in, in, in the culture that created that. I don't want to participate in the culture that created that changelog. Uh, by the way, if we go with, if we go with Intel for the tiny box, we're not going to put in six. We're going to put in 12. Uh, I know the card is nice, right? Uh, oh no 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 no! Grok Grok is a total Grok is a total scam. I I told if anyone I put this challenge on Tiny Grads Twitter. If anyone's willing to send me one two hundred fifty thousand dollar machine, I will replicate Grok's demo on it if you let me keep the machine. Grok's fastest claim is just because nobody gives two hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of shits. Right? That's how literally worthless that claim is. Or take me up on it. Is it Grok 20K? One Grok. According to semi-analysis, it took 576 Groks in order to run that Mixtral model. And actually, I heard it was more like 700. No, they didn't want me to keep the machine. They didn't read the shit. They didn't read it. Um, NVIDIA responded with their usual clown NVIDIA stuff, right? Like, look, guess what? When you are the king, you've earned the right to be a clown. When you're, when you're a king, you've earned the right to be a, to be a clown. Um, 
What is the mission of Tiny Grad to commoditize the petaflop? Any confidence in Qualcomm? <laughs> Actually, sort of. I mean, look, uh, Qualcomm. <sighs> Qualcomm needs to fire their entire sales division and they have a good fighting chance, right? Like the problem at Qualcomm is simple. The problem at Qualcomm, um, so people were saying, people were responding to my AMD stuff with like someone should do like a, like a leveraged buyout of AMD and get them to open source their shit. That's not going to fix AMD, right? This is, this is a systemic problem that's actually like really hard to solve, right? Like, it, 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 I don't know how you've, it's, it's just hard. It's just hard. And that's why, like, I have... In some ways, I have a lot more sympathy for AMD. Qualcomm's problem could be solved the minute I become chairman of the board, right? Fire the entire sales department. Replace the sales department with a computer. <laughs> I'm going to replace the sales... It doesn't even need to be a computer. I'm going to replace Qualcomm's entire sales department with a sheet of fucking paper that says, here's how much the chip costs and here's your price breaks in different quantities. Right? I'm going to take the average of whatever customer paid. Boom. Done. I just caught tons of bloat. Uh, I, I, so many startups will start building with Qualcomm shit. Uh, I can fix Qualcomm overnight. <laughs> um, no, so, so, I mean, in some ways that actually, though, gives me more hope for Qualcomm than AMD. Because, like, Qualcomm's problem is fixable with the stroke of a pen. AMD's problem, like, look, they're not actually gonna do this, right? If, if AMD actually turns around and does this, I give them a 1% chance, right? Like, like it's, it's not, well, we're gonna have to put that through legal review. We have to think of downside risk. Is it just pride stopping AMD from letting them hire you to fix their firmware? I'm not sure I would take that deal, right? I also think that like, you know, you look at me like you don't want to. Do you want to? Do you want to like work with me? Probably not, right? Like I'm, I'm self-aware about this, right? I'm pretty abrasive. Like, like I'm just gonna. I don't think I'd take that job, right? Like, I would do it as a contract, but I would actually do it as a free contract if you just gave the world access, right? I'm not gonna say more about what I saw on Elon's execution of Twitter, but I'm just gonna say that like. Uh, the the man is truly uh, like he, he he's truly a once in a generation genius who can actually like get these things done hey right? I, I, I'm you know whether you agree with him or you don't agree with him where, where he takes yeah but um No, no, it's not. You can't. I don't think Lisa Sue can fix this. Like, I, I don't think that. Oh, oh, Intel. Uh, wait, which one? The. Uh, who is smarter, me or Elon? I mean, Elon's just way more successful than me and, and always will be for various reasons, right? Like, I, I don't talk about this. Um, what's. J H uh, the risk one, yeah. It's underpowered. It's underpowered. I mean, really one of the most interesting chips. Like if I was building if I was building a product today, I would use this chip. Um I, we're, we're stuck into Qualcomm. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Kava. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what we did. I'll I'll say it. I'll say it afterwards. But like, when 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 someone looks back on on what we ended up doing about the Qualcomm situation, people are gonna be like, "Damn, damn, they actually did that." And yeah, we did that. Um, all right. I'm just saying. We've solved the Qualcomm issue, at least for now. <laughs> Did I get the 500K back? What 500K? No, I got bought 500K worth of Qualcomm chips from Qualcomm. Um, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, it's just this is the chip I would I would I would base things around. I didn't break into the office. I didn't do anything illegal, guys. Um. <laughs> Man, Kama, I'm so happy, Kama. Kama's actually doing really well right now. Uh, we're, we're, we're printing money hand over fist. Um, did I talk with Lisa Sue in private? Just emails. I, I never spoke with her. Uh, any updates on the folding phone? Wait, I love my phone. Oh! Oh, the OnePlus folding phone? Oh, yeah! Yeah, guess what I did for OnePlus? I complained to the state of California. Like, the state of California has, like, a complaint about a business form. I wrote up the story to the state of California, and they sent, call, they sent OnePlus an email, and then they gave me my money back. So, uh, you know, let's see. Um, hundreds of thousands of dollars paid in taxes to the state of California. One refund on a $1,500 phone. Eh. Guess what? It made me feel good about California. So, yeah, of course I got my money back. <laughs> Guys, I don't lose. <laughs> um, California fixed the OnePlus store. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, let, me, let me go to the bathroom, and then let's get into this. Um... Never give up, never surrender, okay? Well, go watch Galaxy Quest. It's, a, it's an inspiring slogan, man. Is Galaxy Quest good? Yeah, it's a fire movie. I wash my hands, boys. All right. Um, you're interested in learning? Have you considered going to college? <laughs> Sorry about the clickbait title. Um. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Okay, so I... I literally, I walk to work. This, this whole A and B situation has really been stressing me out. I walked to work at like 10.30 last night. I picked up one 7900 XTX. Uh, I took the 10 storing card out. I put the 7900 XTX in. I put a new hard drive in and installed Ubuntu. I struggled to find a USB port with enough power to power this thing, but then I found one, got Ubuntu installed, but that's basically all I've done. So I saved all the good stuff for you guys. Um, so you'll see we can go in here to TinyGrad. Um, you know, we can even run something complicated. And so like, uh, let's do Beautiful MNIST. So an example called Beautiful MNIST. Um, so it's just gonna train a quick MNIST model uh, on, our, on our GPU here. 98% accuracy. Uh, so we can say debug equals two, and we can see what's going on here. So this HSA is uh, AMD's HSA queue, and you can do, let me open one more window here, and open, I started a repo last night called 7900 XTX, and that's where I'm gonna document things. document much yet. Uh, so there's a flag, there's an environment variable flag, it's like HSA KMT debug or something. So HSA KMT is the, is the kernel interface uh, that actually talks to the, uh, I also wrote a pretty good wrapper for this, but there's a HSA 
debug environment variable. It's not AMD log level, it's something else. Does anyone know it? Oh, here, HSA KMT debug level. Uh, so we can set that to seven and you'll see how it actually uh, communicates with the GPU. Let's add that as a note in the repo. Um, so these are just the kernel calls to the GPU. Let's isolate this to just dispatch one kernel uh, to the GPU. So I have an example of test ops called test add tiny. Tiny add. We should, if we do. Like I don't want to. I don't want to continue with this. You know, I ran into the same problem with the OnePlus phone. Like, I could fix it, but it's not worth my time to do. And this isn't worth my time to do either. So at least if we're on stream and we're ranting, like it's just, you know, ugh, this is. You're supposed to just be like dispassionate and emotionless and like, okay, we just need to make a business decision. We'll make a list of pros and cons and we'll choose. And we're like, oh, well, yeah, I know you're supposed to do things. Um, so yeah, this, this shows how it's actually communicating with the, uh, with the kernel. But what this isn't doing is debugging any um, of like the lower level stuff. So let's see if we can enable some debugging at the kernel layer. Um, there's like a cool way to do this. Uh, Linux kernel enable debugging. And do I have config dynamic debug? Thank you, Jeribus. Do you have a... No, uh... oh, it's this thing. Do you have a uh, question? If you gift subs in this channel, you get to ask a question. Okay, so we don't want to just drive a file name. Let's try with all AMD GPU stuff. Okay, good. There's a, this is just a generic, oh, this is just a generic thing that happens to be in Now let's run this and see if we get any debug. Oh, good. Okay, good. We got debug. Cool. All right. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. Our HSA thing is creating all of these. Uh, all of these. Oh, actually, I'm also gonna, let me throw a rock M SMI and watch. Hopefully that doesn't, uh... oh, I didn't actually install rock M. Let's see if this is gonna install the world. Oh, just that. Let's hope this doesn't spam the card. Doesn't. So the reason that we do that is because it doesn't put the GPU to sleep. There's like a lot of crap with the GPU just going to sleep. Um, okay. So we're probably going to have to go to a lower level first. We're probably going to have to go to HSA KMT. Um, so let's just add support for that to TinyGrad. 
and then we can start writing some some programs that uh, get to the kernel driver. And it's just kind of annoying, like all this spam. Uh, by the way, NimbleGen did a great job getting this driver to work. Um, like we, <laughs> yeah. Hip graph is not like CUDA graph. <laughs> Hip graph is one of those things. It's like cargo cult CUDA graph. It's like, like they kept the same API, but they almost don't understand why people use CUDA graph to make things fast. Um, but you can do all this stuff in, in HSA, which is cool. Uh, no, I just like, I love this stuff so much. Like, it's so much, it's so fun to like play with and understand things. Okay. So let's get into tiny grad and let's add, let me add, uh, so I have this script called autogen stubs and we should be able to grab HSA KMT here. You were so much different back in those days. Put it in HSA KMT. So yeah, HSA KMT is like just one level lower in uh, able to use HSA runtime. These might export the symbols. You see the problem I saw? This is a dot A file, which means it's statically linked, which means I can't see types into it. Uh, which is kind of annoying, but let's see. Maybe this is just gonna work. Uh, generate HSA KMT. Printed all that. Oh no, those are fix me stops. Okay. Um, Rip graph doesn't work for binaries or does that? Don't make me. I'm gonna have to build HSA KMT, aren't I? There's probably a flag to rip graph for binary. Okay, they have HSA KMT, but it's just a .a file. C types doesn't work for .a files, does it? Mm, you have the ability to recompile the library as a shared object. Otherwise, you'll want to build a Python extension model that links to the static library. Okay, well, that sounds terrible. Um, let's try one more thing. Just use PyBind. Uh, yeah, I'm not feel about that. Okay. Um, so it is true that AMD does have these things open source. They're just kind of all worthless. I mean, I guess it's better than AMD not open. It's better than NVIDIA not open sourcing this, I guess. Okay, Rock T Thunk interface. I think it's this. Hey AMD, this is my job interview. What? How much shit do I know about your shit? Like I don't understand why. I mean, no, they don't take me up on the offer because companies don't work how you think they work. 
Right? Companies don't actually make like, like no one's gonna make a bold decision at a company. You never get fired for going with IBM or whatever. I'm not buying Numa. What's a Numa? Um, missing Numa libraries. Why is this linked to Numa? Well, that didn't work. Oh, lib Numa dev. Let's try that. Package config not found? Well, that's like a normal thing. Oh, no, not lib package con. It's package config, yeah. What's it missing now? A require a lib DRM. What is libdrm? Okay. Of course, it built the same shitty static library that the other one did. So what do I have to do? Like cmake share make j? Unknown argument share. dev version? Maybe if I install this, it actually has what I'm looking for. No, nope, that's already installed. Oh, here we go. Build shared libs. We love shared libs. Oh, I gotta do. Throw some Ds in that bitch. Oh, there we go. Let me just say KMTSL. All right, cool. Uh, that's so big. That's huge. Uh, I don't really want to sudo make install it, but I don't want to sudo make install it. Whatever, it's only one file. Great. User local lib HSA KMT. Okay, well, that's a little bit annoying. Um, I know they mentioned this. Okay, notice how the fixing stubs are gone. So now we have a file in here called autogen HSA KMT. Now we have HSA KMT. That's nice. We have to do this anyway. Uh, what's the main branch? So I have a branch called hipless. Uh, it's fine to add HSA KMT there. It's fine to support it in Autogen. Uh, yeah, Numa got stuck in my mind, right? Okay, so now we have HSA KMT exposed to us. Now it's pretty cool. We can do things like um, from here, let's do test.py. From tiny grad runtime autogen HTKMT. Uh, no, I don't know how to import that right. Uh, tiny grad. Just from like tiny grad import HSAKMT. Why do I need to look that up? Can you just say KMT header we can just read? Probably the easiest thing to do. 
Uh, or we can just look at <coughs> oh, well, that's too much stuff. Oh, that's cool though. Look at running my batches. Um, yeah, but no, on Monday, like I gave them till Monday. My end of the week means Monday, okay? I gotta just, on Monday, I gotta just put all this shit out of my mind and just say, it's never gonna be good, man. You just gotta accept it. You gotta move on with your life. Like Alec Memory? Let's <coughs> find the args for that. Oh, well, why don't we first open the KFD? It sounds like a good place to start, right? Open the KFD. Uh, let's also just We're gonna get into the firmware, I promise. Uh, if you just wanna see that part, you can just fast forward this live stream right now. Uh, okay, do we have a KFD? Let's see if we have a KFD. Zero! It doesn't sound good, or is it good? Oh, it's just status, okay, whatever. This function called check that I use in a lot of places. Let's just throw some checks in there. Do it right. Uh, check is dead. This check is good. Always do your errors, because then like, if you don't do things like that, you're gonna be like, why doesn't it work? Why doesn't it work? And then you're like frantically adding if statements later, and you just don't wanna do that. I'm sorry about your fast forward button, bro. What GPU do you have? Do you have an AMD GPU or an NVIDIA GPU? <laughs> uh, right. You got the KFD open. Uh, set event, destroy event, wait on event, port queue. We're gonna wanna create a queue. I'm sure there's a create queue. Wait, it doesn't even call create queue? Does I just got the I bet the debug is broken. Wait, what? Oh, is this one of these things where you actually want to do like like that? No, it just can't be too large. I see. Um, well, okay. We have the queue creation code here. We can just, uh, we can find it in the runtime. And the runtime is open source too. Uh, so we'll just find out what it's doing. Okay, so where do we create a queue? Here, HSA queue create. Uh, so why does HSA queue create never call HSA KMT create queue? It's just poorly, um, okay, I actually wrote something for this that we can just use in TinyGrad. Um, I worked hard on these things. Here, hip GPU driver, okay, so it's here. It's called hip, wait, KFDIO control? What is this? Oh. Cool. Well, I worked hard on this. Yeah, this stuff's better. So um, I love when old me did good stuff. Right. 
So just, just go into HSA here and do a import from extra dot, what is that, hip GPU driver? Import hip by optional. That should be all I need to do. And get rid of that and we'll use my debugger. There we go. That looks better. So I wrote something to just hook IO control. I'm actually very proud of this code. I wrote it on stream. Um, you can use it for the Qualcomm one too. So like this is how you can just, like these GPU user spaces are unnecessarily complex and you can write like really simple versions of it. Uh, you know, like there's some 20 year old kids now who are better programmers than me. Uh, it's interesting how a lot of them code in like Rust and stuff. Like, like it's really impressive with what like, um, like, like Asahi Linux reverse engineering the, uh, the, the GPU um, of the Mac and then like rewriting drivers in Rust that are more compliant than the real ones. Um, it just shows it's interesting when people care uh, how good things can be. Okay, uh, so here we go. Here is of course, you know what? Let's keep that thing on because of course that it's incomplete. And actually, you know, I want to bet it's incomplete because AMD just put in print statements. And did we put in a print statement for create Q? Uh, nope, we forgot that one. Uh, so actually really what we should be doing is not wasting our time on HSA KMT. We should probably go right to, I think we, and we don't even need HSA KMT, uh, especially since you have to build it and it's not included. Uh, we can go straight to just like, I already have all this stuff. So we can just go straight to using KFDI Octal and we can just create this class and call the IO controls directly. Oh. Oh, see, look, oh my God, we could make it so nice. We could build them such nice things. Wait, there's a poll how many exploits I'll find? Why isn't zero the top option? Okay, we're not actually gonna find any exploits, guys. It's just, I'm just trolling you with that thing. I'm just trolling you with the, uh, with the, uh... All right, all right, we wanna find exploits. We'll live up to the time of the stream. Um, all we did so far was open the driver, okay? We just opened, we're, we're, we're like forward engineering. I don't wanna reverse engineer anymore. It's a huge waste of time. All right, maybe the right idea is not to go to this level. Maybe we should go to this level. And we can use this, this HSA driver, which is the HSA runtime level. Like it's mostly pretty good. It like pre-allocates all these signals, um, pre-allocates a bunch of regions of RAM. Even dumb fuzzer like Rata MSA. What is this? I mean, okay, you want to just try to crash the GPU? Like, is, is that what you want? We can probably do that pretty easily. Uh, let's use HSA. We, we don't need, we don't need KMT. Oh yeah, no, like I said, I didn't write this. Um, what does the check do here? What is the check? Where is that defined? Pretty cool. Uh, 
we should still have our, our driver, which is cool. Let's go here. I got it. Um, wait, no, that's not running. So that's not there. But uh, here. So now we can see like when we call HSA init, we have all the debugging enabled. Uh, we even have the debugging enabled over here on the kernel side, so we can see what's going on there. All right, so there, this is like what happens when you call HSA init. Um, also what happens when you when you de-init the thing. So I can do like a, just a more time. So we can show you what like the init and the de-init look like. So there's the init. And there's the DNA. 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 Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, I just want to let's create a queue. We need an agent first. Agent tricks, they don't even have a word for it. It's an agent. Scan agents. Oh, I see. <coughs> that seems nice. Let's just scan the agents. Is it a good idea to put pressure on AMD? I mean, look, it's not really going to put pressure. You're, you're just going to, maybe, maybe I'll, I'll upset a lawyer a little bit, but like, it's not really. There, guys, there's no fixing it, okay? Like, this isn't going to get better, and you, you just have to like, it's, 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 look, I don't, when I say it's like an abusive relationship, I'm not like, like, no, like abusive relationships are truly horrible, but like, there is this, this similar sort of like, pattern there where like you fool yourself into thinking things will get better uh, many times you're like I can work on it I can improve myself but but in reality um, you know that that isn't what's gonna happen and the sooner you can just leave uh, yeah like the, the sooner the sooner you just leave the better the better off you are. AMD was almost bankrupt and they turned the ship around. I, I mean, the... <laughs> Even if they do turn the ship around, it's not going to happen on a timeline that works for Tiny Grad. Like, I don't know. I probably, maybe, maybe if I was more aggressive earlier. Like, we're at a point now where I have all the parts for the computers. We have to build something, and I don't feel okay shipping this to people. Right? Like, again, you want to criticize me for taking pre-orders before, like... I, I fully qualified something like you can, but it's not a Kickstarter, right? They're hundred dollar refundable pre-orders, mostly to hold your place in line, right? Like it's not like Kickstarter where I don't have shit. I had a prototype. Um, it wasn't until you got really deep that you found out that these things were just unfixable. Um, so, I mean, no, like the problem with being positive is like, 
let's say AMD commits to open source, it'll be open source in a year. Nobody's going to give any shits about the 7900 XTX in a year. Like, that's kind of the problem. We can't... No, look, Fearless was the right move. I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Like, There's like 2% of internet fuckers who are just like, you know, whatever, man. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's make a queue. Now we're just going to call it Agent. That's a good name. What size? Oh, size not equal to minus one. Okay, max Q size that value. Let's take a look. How big is a Q? Oh, that's a pretty big queue. That sounds nice. All right, let's make a queue. Yeah, I know. I mean, this is this is like the the same pattern that's played out in gaming is gonna play out in ML. I mean, that's a user space crash. Don't get excited. Queue. <coughs> Maybe that's a little large for a queue. I don't know. Let's make the queue size. What's a good queue size, guys? How do you feel about seven? Who's feeling seven as a queue size? Don't do seven. Eight? Is that a good queue size? Oh, don't do eight. Eight doesn't work. Okay, never mind. Max queue size that value. Let's go back to that. Should we destroy our queue? Probably some cleanup. Fuzz the queue size. <laughs> I don't know about fuzzing the queue size, boys. Uh, we should probably get the docs for this. So. Let's rock our runtime. Yeah, here we go. Huh, well, let's just try putting trash in the queue, okay? We're gonna put things in the queue. You ready? Where's the queue? The queue's over here in driver. All right, we have created the queue. What can we do with the queue? Ooh, we can set the priority of the queue to be high. We can enable the profiler on the queue. Oh, let's destroy the queue. That's just being polite. By the way, yeah. Nimble Gen, great work on this. This is this is awesome. All right. We no longer die and crash anymore. We create the queue, we do some crap, whatever. 
submit packet. Let's take a look at submit packet. HSAQ store write index Use after free bug would be cool. All right, I think maybe putting random crap in the queue is going to get us somewhere. So let's try that first. And then let's just see like what kind of gets exposed. Um, all right, so this is just the right address. So I like, how do I increment the right? Oh, I, okay, I see, I see, I see. Here we go. Uh, I see. It's like not really what I want to do. Um, Types you and a pointer from address. Uh, no, 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 it's the other way. You can always do mem move. Just numpy for this. No, no. Sev two fifty five size is going to be a hundred. We say that dot data capital from MV, which is a helper in Tiny God. Uh, then you like C types dot mem move cubase from that data. Cool. Now we gotta ring the doorbell to tell it to execute the queue and let's see what breaks. <laughs> Self next doorbell index. Barbecue. Uh, where's our next doorbell index? Is that set to set to zero? All right, cool.
there a bug bounty? <laughs> We might need a little more structure. We might need a little more structure. Let's try out with a little more structure instead of putting random crap in the queue. Let's start with some structure. A lot of times it's, yeah, random doesn't always work for fuzzers. We need to throw some structure in there. And let's see, actually, we should probably try to find if we can get like a good, uh, a good mutating fuzzer. We're not submitting any bugs to bug bounties. You guys know my feelings on bug bounties. Okay. Um, Devin. Probably forgetting something. We probably have to do some like. Slots. Oh, self next doorbell index. Oh, plus equals one. I see. Oh, there we go. HSA Q inactivated due to async error. One of the actual arguments did not meet a uh, bullshit with a bullshit. Oh, well, that's a good point. I didn't think about that bullshit. Q okay. Let's try random Q. Who's ready for random Q? Oh no, the CP. The CP will be so sad. Hmm, okay. Didn't work. Wait, what happened? That used to complain to me about that Q. What changed? Wait, what happened to the bitching about preconditions? Well, get it. That was just failing and complaining. Am I not wrong?
I'm kind of sick of all this debugging, actually. Let's, uh... Yeah, okay. I don't understand what changed. <coughs> oh, did I get rid of my sleep? Oh, there we go. Inactivated due to async error. Boards with a cord. Do I get more info here? I think also if you really want to fuck it up, let's hit the SDMA. The SDMA seems way crappier than the AQL. Try things like corrupting the queue halfway through. Oh yeah, let's go. The AQL packet is malformed. Okay. I mean that's fair. My AQL packet's definitely malformed. Because it's random shit. Uh, let's like add 10 to this. So, like some of the things are the same. I mean, random doesn't seem great. Well, actually, where is this argument coming from? That's a good question, right? Oh, no, it's just invalid packet format, invalid argument. Where is this coming from? What, uh, is it in here? Dynamic scratch handler. Process errors if only one queue is running. Where's the SDMA stuff? Let's take a look at that too. I guess we never really got a queue working for that. Okay, we're calling into this copy on engine thing. Um, yeah, there's probably bugs there. Signals. I mean, see, this this like isn't a good fuzzer. Okay, so this isn't how you fuzz things. The way that you actually fuzz things um, 
is what this kind of like. You want you want a permutation puzzle, right? You want things that look almost like real packets, but you just like change one number here and there. But that's a lot of software engineering, guys. So let's take a different tack right now and let's start looking at the actual firmware. Um, right, like right, I'm happy, like like. So a lot of times the way that you approach systems like wow, I'm teaching us hacking. Okay, so like a lot of times the way you approach systems like this is you don't uh, you don't just focus on one thing. You you approach the system from all possible angles, right? So so like and then the question that you have to keep asking yourself is what actually is this thing? Right? So like something here is throwing this invalid argument. Um, invalid packet format, right? Like where are these errors actually coming from? What's generating that error? So it looks like there's some, in the runtime, there's some parser that parses like an error queue that's probably coming back from something like the MES or the CP. Uh, yeah, and then we can like dive in and see what that stuff actually is. Um, but let's take a different tack for a minute and let's actually look at the firmware and see if we can find these parsers. So I looked very briefly at the firmware once and the firmware, I couldn't even understand what instruction set the firmware was. So, uh, yeah. We fuzz heavily in cache verification. Uh, who's we? You work at AMD? Do we get, we're gonna get the AMD people in here? Come on, is it gonna be like tense to it? That'd actually be pretty cool. That'd be a good step. And then open source your shit and give me some documentation. Oh, you do CPU verification. Well, your CPUs work great. Uh, no, look, I'm not looking for help, guys. This isn't going to get better. This is just a cope stream. Like, we're just coping. And maybe we'll find an exploit. And if we find an exploit, like, particularly if we find an exploit that, like, could be used to dump the HTCP keys and stuff, right? Not saying it's going to be used for that. But then, like, this whole, like, oh, we're going to keep the firmware secret thing kind of becomes less of a point if, like, we have a whole thing that can just load whatever, uh, whatever stupid things I want. So, yeah. It's the link to my Discord, not for you. The first step to entering the Discord is finding the link to the Discord. And if you're incapable of doing that, go read the questions document. You know? Go read the questions document. Um, okay. Uh, so where are we? Let's go over to the driver. Uh, let's get rid of my watch on Rocket SMI. So it's kind of cool. You can watch if we have nothing opening the GPU. Yeah, you see ASIC devices runtime suspended. Let's do Rock MS. Oh, no.
So here is the loading of the stuff. Trainer is not supported. PCIe is resuming. SMU is resuming. SMU firmware. Okay. Seems like the SMU is the first thing that gets powered up. I had fuzzing on my mind. That's not actually probably the right way to attack this system. The right way is probably to look into this load process. Uh, so these messages are coming from the kernel. Um, actually, should we just get the exact kernel? Yeah, let's not look at a different kernel. Let's look at the exact kernel. So this is just, this is, I, I just installed Ubuntu's uh, hardware next. Actually, can I just like install kernel sources? Isn't there like a app get to do that? User source here back in the old day of Linux headers. Um, so let's, I mean, actually, we just know the kernel. Can I just look? Can I just, oh, it probably has mods. App get install source Linux source. I must put some dev source URLs. Ubuntu rebuilding kernel. I, didn't I do this on like another stream and I ended up like talking about how rebuilding kernel. <coughs> Building your own kernel is quite easy. Oh, here we go. Build dep. No, you must put some. Oh, I just need to go in there. Yeah. get through only the official ones that are supported. We don't want any unsupported software on our computer. We only we only take approved taxis. That's right. We had some people come to our office once and they for to be fair, they were from out of the country, but they didn't want to take an Uber. They wanted to take a licensed taxi. And I'm like, and you're gonna put a Snapdragon consumer processor on your windshield and let it drive a car? Yeah, yeah, I don't think you're gonna do that. Unfortunately, this does not install the necessary dependencies. Wait, we're in Disco. What's Disco? I haven't heard of Disco. Oh, because it's 1904. Oh, Ubuntu 2404 is out. Who's very excited about Ubuntu 2404? Noble Numbat. Hmm. Noble Numbat. Building the kernel is quite easy. How do I get to the root of the kernel source tree? Where is it?
Download is performed as root. Oh no, I messed up. I understand. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, so I can just, I don't need root here. I can just app source here and it'll give me the source code. App's pretty cool. I've never, I've never really uh, dove into this. You know. You know, I always say, I have so much respect for the people who like make all this stuff work. Like the people who actually like make computers good, not like troll and start, try to start companies. You guys know I am like self-aware about this stuff, right? My life took a certain path. I, don't know. I think that the way that you uh, the way that heaven works is you get there, and Saint Peter asks you if you're a good person, and if you can look him in the eye and say something like, "Yeah, you know, on balance, I you know, I think I am." Uh, then you get in. But if the first thing that comes to your mind is about like, like a murder you got away with, or a girl you raped, or something you know something truly terrible you did, or you know someone you stole from, or just like being a scammer your entire life, right? If that's the first thing that comes to your mind when when Saint Peter asks that question, then uh, you know, H E double hockey sticks, man. Most people are good people, though. I think a lot of people just don't really know better. There's a few people who are very bad people. And I think, unfortunately, they get power. building the kernel uh, but good now we have the actual source of the real kernel running on our running on our system uh, it's just you don't really want to mismatch there again little things like that make the, all things easier later in the future all right so let's um let's take a look into what the firmware load process looks like on these things actually what I really have to do is rebuild AMD GPU as a module is it a module? Is there a chance it's a module? That'd be sick. Yes, it's a module. Okay, wait. Does this just work? Pseudo RM mod AMD GPU. Yes! Yes! Hell yeah! Okay, of course that didn't happen cleanly, but that's great. I'm so happy that's a module. Oh, that makes my life a lot easier. Okay. So let's see if we can repeatedly uh, unload and load it. Okay, so let's uh, create ls mod. Is this in here? Well, because it's a module, we can just rebuild the kernel and then we have the module and we can just make one change. Oh. Hacking is 50% setting up your environment, 50% knowing a lot of shit, and 50% binary search by hand. I said those backwards. Hacking is 50% setting up your environment, 50% binary search by hand, and 80% just like being smart and knowing about computers. Yeah, we look at AMD's fork at the kernel. Keep hacking elite. I know with a lot of like diversity and inclusion shit, you're not supposed to th say things like keep hacking elite, but let me explain what I mean by keep hacking elite. I don't actually mean exclude people from hacking. I mean, recognize hacking as an elite skill. Anybody can acquire that skill, but in order to gain elite skills, you must go through the, the, the journey of acquiring elite skills. And it, it demeans the elite skills if you 
let people have the rewards without going through the journey. And that's what I mean when I say keep hacking elite. Okay, so we have IP block numbers and DRM. DRM doesn't actually stand for digital rights management in this case. It's like direct rendering manager. Um, okay, so these are the IP block numbers. Let's see where we actually load this. Fetched V BIOS. Oh, this is cool, boys. This is cool. We're getting somewhere. Um, oh, it comes with a TMZ, but it's not supported. So I'm sorry if you wanted a TMZ. Oh, that's a lot of RAM. That's good. So disheartening to remember that no matter how far you go with this, you're gonna be stuck at these at these blobs. Um, by the way, I can show you where the blobs live too. So it doesn't seem like there's any prints about loading the firmware. Like where it actually loaded them from. Um, well, it might not have actually loaded the firmware. We might need to run RocketSMI for that to happen. No. But we also have RocketSMI can also reset the GPU. Throw some D's. We need some D's. All right. Okay, good. That reset the GPU. SMU. What's the SMU? programming block. Interesting. All right, well, we have a lot of stuff in here about SMUs. This happens before the FSDL image is loaded. Um, what's FSDL? FSDL? Let's see that. Well, this is old Ebron. What's the code name for? Uh, can someone figure out the code name for? Uh... One of you guys can figure this out, chat. I believe in you. We're still building the kernel. Loading DMUB firmware via PSP. Wow. I didn't know there was a PSP inside of this thing. <coughs> Here we go. Here are the code names. I used to just know this. No, 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 the code name's not that though. Here, Plum Benito. AKA Navi31. All right, so it's not the Aldebron. Let's find the Plum Benito.
right, here we go. Here's the SMU. We're doing SMU 13. Thirteen oh seven PP table. How's my kernel build going? It's still building. See, this man, I should have done this on a tiny box. What is the DMUB firmware via PSP? It looks like our workflow is something like SMU. So usually these things are, don't lowercase this shit. Um, where am I loading the load DMUB firmware via PSP? They have driver monitoring. Oh, I see. What if I set the size to be big? Uh, calculate the size of all the regions for the DMUB service. Locate a frame buffer. Move this into guard. Man, we got a lot of we got a lot of understanding to do. We gotta understand a lot of this shit. SMU equals system management unit. That sounds plausible. Do you have a, there's gotta be like a, you have like a link to what all these things are? It's in the rock inbox. Qualcomm, <laughs> this is the most ridiculous names for things. Most <laughs> of the, uh, Oh, this one, it's called like the, uh, it's called like the, like the gate trapper or something. Oh, God, a stupid name. Like, I couldn't believe that this was a search for SMU. Uh, oh, you found it here. Um, okay, AMD, GPU, SMU, MES. Website's cool, by the way. I like Pharonix. I've been reading because they covered a bunch of the tiny curve stuff. I've been reading about it. Like, I, I, I'm, you know, I feel kind of bad when I like see these articles. Like, I'm not doing work in open source. I'm trolling people on Twitter. Okay, like, I, I, don't, don't, don't fall for it. Don't like, you don't have to like, like Tom's Hardware or whatever. That publication is, but like Pharonix is legit. You, you don't have to publish this junk. Um, yeah, the devil works hard, but Michael Laravel works harder. Yeah. Um. Oh, no. This, uh, this is just about. No, like, I want, like, a list of all the. Um, GFX 11 is in the graphics block for these. Modern block by block driver enablement. Colorful fishy code names. So which GFX am I? How do I know what firmware is actually being loaded? I don't see it like printing that out. Maybe it's earlier in dmessage. Do I have dmessage going at the beginning of the system? No, I don't. Why is the buffer small? 
Ooh, I think my kernel build might be done. I can tell by the fan whirring down. Module firmware. Oh. Can I right click and. It's interesting that, oh, these are just module firmwares for the uh, for the GFX block. But I think there's module firmwares for all the blocks. Part of the problem with this driver too is it goes back to like God knows when. Like what's a Polaris? What's a, I'm sure like some of you in chat actually like know all these acronyms better than I do. Um, but okay, so these are the different module firmwares. I can show you where they live, and we can actually look at some of these files. Firmware, AMD, GPU, and they're here. So I don't know which one I actually am, but these are, these are the firmware files. Do we know which one? How can I tell? Which GX says <laughs> Compose Feed Plans? Rockham Info? Oh, you're right. You're, you're right. Uh, you're right. Rockham Info can dump all the running firmware versions. Just add it to your path. No, 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 no. There's a, there's a command for this. Um. I can get the GFX from there, you say. Oh. Oh, is that all that means? So these are like the 1100s? No, no, there's also, there's a command to see, I think maybe it's in Rock MSMI, to see the firmware versions. Yeah, show firmware info. Yes, this. Okay. So this is cool because it just shows me all the firmware versions. Put that over here in my thing here. All right, I assume these ones that are zero don't actually. Okay, so the things that we're interested in finding are the CP and the MES. Uh, or maybe the SDMA too. I didn't realize SDMA was a piece of fucking firmware. So I'm gonna guess that the CP is actually in the ME. Maybe the mech is like, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so what you're, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. So like GFX 1100 is Navi 31, and then this is Navi 32. Yeah, yeah, okay, that makes sense. So these are the ones we're loading, these firmware versions. So let's just throw some sim links in my 7500. Let's attack the firmware build process. The me, the me has the biggest number, which is interesting. Probably means this is where a lot of this crap is. Oh, yeah, but that's probably just an HSA. I doubt that changes this, like any of this stuff. How big are these files? That's a good question. Oh, it has an IMU. I wonder if that's an IM inertial management unit. Don't shake your GPUs. Um, also, like, what the hell are all these files? So, like... Oh, we found the MES1 and the MES2. None of them show up there. Oh, well, you can't get the firmware version of the MES because it's not supported on the given system. <laughs> There's actually a flag to disable the MES. I have no idea if it works or does anything. Um, SysX file? Like, what files are these? Yeah, they're like not anything. Yeah, 
You look at Nvidia's crap, it's a risk five health. What what architect I mean it's clearly it's not encrypted, right? There's way too many zeros for it to be encrypted. But what architecture is this? Does anyone know? No, it's not ARM. No, not me. So I don't really know what OpenCell is. People, people are giving giving them credit for OpenCell. Do we know for a fact that it's signed? AMD told me it was signed. Again, I haven't really looked into this that much. Um, but here's my dream. I'm gonna file. Yeah, we'll just watch me do that. It didn't, you don't anything. Um, we can try Binwalk if you want, but Binwalk has a lot of dependencies, and I always regret installing Binwalk. Uh, yes, AMD told me it was signed. I don't actually know. Um, I know very little about this. My dream, like, if, 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 it, if by some 1% miracle, AMD comes through and actually open sources this stuff, then what I want to do is, like, write... The goal of TinyGrad is to be minimal all the way to the hardware. Um, if you look at TensTorrent's kernel driver, TensTorrent's kernel driver is super minimal. I would love to, I'm not even sure we need a kernel driver. It, it, it's very possible that from user space, even from Python, we can mmap shit. We'll just mmap the MMIO. Uh, you know, I, I'm not sure we even need a kernel driver. Uh, and then we'll do everything with the firmware, right? Because this is what TenStore does. Like, TenStore doesn't even have firm. It has, like, some BIOS. Like, nobody cares about the BIOS. The, like, what I want to do is rewrite the entire AMD GPU driver in user space. I don't think it's that much more complicated than what we've been doing. Again, because most of the things are done by these firmwares. But then the thing that you're talking to on the other side is the firmwares, and there's, like, a megabyte of them there, and we're going to need a way to build them. And that's what AMD needs to open source if they want us to continue with this project. Because I'm not, I mean, I'm not, I'm not throwing myself against a stupid black box anymore. Like we're almost to the end. correctly and stuff. Uh, what architecture? RDNA? Wait, I actually didn't consider that. I actually didn't consider the firmware was written in RDNA. No, I'm sure it's not. What architecture is this? You get strings. Oh, str oh, you're gonna strings them. I get strings them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Lead hacking with strings. No strings. Literally no strings. No, 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 no. no. I, I, I would be shocked if it was our DNA. Um. The fact that there's no strings is kind of crazy, actually. When you get no strings, it's concerning. I'm gonna, in this window over here, ask Claude. 
I'm sorry I can't show you. What architecture is this? This appears to be hex co dump of a Oh, it could be risk five. Um, okay, uh, let's go over here. Uh, let's SCP is over from Q. And let's open them in uh, Gidra. It's not compressed either. I don't know, maybe it's risk five. Like, okay, it sure looks like, let's talk about a few things. It sure looks like a 60, uh, 32 bit instruction, like a 32 bit D word. It doesn't look like ARM. I'm pretty familiar with ARM. And the fact that it's 32 bit probably means it's not thumb. Uh, let's just find, you know what? Let's find a uh, online risk five. Oh, you know what? I don't even need to go. Lana Lux, hello. Welcome, it's a rare Thursday stream for me today. Uh, we'll, we'll, let the, we'll let the non subs talk in honor of the raid. Uh, it's a rare Thursday stream today. I hope your stream went well this morning. Uh, we are, if I just put the word exploits in the title, I really get, I really get way more people. No, I mean, we're, we're just, we're just trying to, we're just poking around, you know? Um, I, look, I'm, I'm kind of like, the beginning of the stream is a more coherent AMD rant. Uh, where I really beat myself up about, like, we're not going to get AMD on MLPerf. Um, it's just not going to happen. Like, it sounds cool, but the driver's not stable enough. Um, and I'm not going to spend my time trying to mitigate crap in AMD's driver. I do not care enough to do that. Um... So, yeah... There is a bunch of firmware that runs on the GPU. So the problem is the uh, GPU is not really uh, open source. So we'll, we'll do a little, in honor of the Ray, we'll do a little uh, little recap. Um, this was my blog post uh, 10 months ago where I, I have a, a new company called the Tiny Corp. Uh, we make this software called TinyGrad. Um, this is TinyGrad. And we someday want to build our own AI accelerators, but for now are fine with uh, working with existing AI accelerators to develop our framework. So I thought it would be cool to target AMD accelerators. Um, the driver is terrible, uh, but I made a mistake of thinking that the driver was open source. Um, so I even linked to the source code. Uh, it turns out the bugs are not in the driver. It turns out the bugs are in the firmware. Um, the firmware is closed source, and judging from a patch change log that I got, it's uh, questionably developed, let's say. Um, so, Yeah, I thought I could fix the driver, but you can't fix the driver. And you basically can't fix the driver because of uh, these files. So the driver in the kernel does very little. It mostly does setup of queues. And then you send the queues to these things. Wow, there's three MESs, a me, an MEC. Um, there's something called the CP that I don't know where it is. It's probably in one of these files. Um, according to AMD, they're signed. Who knows how true that is? 
Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a look and see if they're actually signed. I wonder if anyone's really looked. Um, and yeah, so we're, we're looking at like that's like two megabytes there, one and a half. Uh, oh yeah. So as far as AMD's software stack goes, TinyGrad has now cut through AMD's entire user space. The only two things you have to install to make TinyGrad work are HSA Rock R, which is the HSA runtime. There's not that much code here. This can be replaced probably with 50 lines of code and a week or two of work. CoManager is their compiler. It's LVM based that assembles to this well-documented architecture called RDNA3. Um, we can replace this too. And like, it's very possible. I uh, see, like I say this with optimism, but I don't, I wanna, I don't wanna do this anymore. Like, 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 like AMD, like, you know what my mistake was? I know what my mistake was. I talked to AMD. I don't know why I did that. Like it was constant. It was basically like, like you are AMD's unpaid QA team. Test out this blob that we sent to you. And I don't know if they think like that's doing me a favor, but like, it's really not. It's, it's, it's really, and I fell for it. I fell for it because like Lisa Sue added me on Twitter and stuff. I shouldn't have fallen for that. Like, I wouldn't waste my time if Toyota wanted to talk to me. Like, why would I waste my time with that? So why should I waste my time if AMD wants to talk to me, right? Like, you have to fix, you have to, don't work with the company, work with the product. Um, no, I mean, it would be awesome to get them to change, but you know how hard it is to change yourself? Well, you're never going to change other people, right? Like, you can't even change yourself. Why do you think you could change other people? Um, we got to get some food. Wow, it's 127 already? How long have I been doing this for? I'm gonna order some food. Um, yeah, so no, I mean, I made a mistake. I made a mistake of talking to AMD. Uh, maybe I can get funding from them. I don't need funding. I have all the funding I need. Um, wait, Uber Eats is broken. Come on, Uber Eats. No, why is Uber Eats broken? No, right, let's turn off Wi-Fi. Maybe it'll work with no Wi-Fi. Come on, Uber Eats. All right, good. Uber Eats with no Wi-Fi worked. All right, we want to get some healthy food so we can keep working hard. Let's get sushi ball. Perfect. What 20, 57 minutes for delivery? Who's got that much time? Um, I get the pokeballs, but I eat the pokeball and I'm still hungry. But that's probably good. Um, pick your own pokeball. Well, Alex tells me to pick your owns, get you more stuff. Oh, let's just order two Pokeballs. Fine. Fine. This is we got to be good. We got to eat well. Forty dollars. Whatever, man. Okay, my Pokeballs will be here in twenty-five minutes. Do you know how Tiny Grad has to move to Nvidia? Yeah, working closed source is better than a buggy a buggy closed. Exactly. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, you found out what they are. Is this safe to talk about what the architecture is? Oh, MES support. Um, that's, that's cool find. If we, if we keep finding stuff like that, let's, uh, let's link them. Uh, let's link them, let's link them, let's link them. What if AMD open sources their firmware in one month from now? It's probably too late. Uh, like if AMD open sources the MES tomorrow and says we're gonna open source the CP a month from now, okay, fine. Like, but if I see nothing by Monday, we have to just call it. 
like if I don't see, and I'm not talking about promises, I'm not talking about words. If I don't see any like code or documentation by Monday, we're just gonna dismantle. By the way, if anyone's in the market for cheap 7900 XTXs, um, I have I have 75 of them. Uh, we're just gonna dump them on eBay. Um, it's too late to build red tiny box, but work on the code. I mean, like again, probably I should not be working on this now. Right? This is what I'm doing today at work instead of focusing on bugs in tiny grad. Right? Like this is not what I should be doing at work. I should not be wasting my time with this garbage. Uh, but yet, here we are. Partially because it's addictive. There's nothing more addictive than hacking. Damn, hacking is so addictive. You just like it's like a puzzle, man. You just you just want to work on it. Uh, I mean, we're definitely having fun, but it's not it's not Saturday. I do whatever I want with my Saturdays, but really, this is not what I should be doing today. Like, this is a huge waste of time. Um, it is similar to the hardware scheduler on the Mac currently used for KFD. It's a scheduling microcontroller. Okay, what kind of microcontroller is it? Um... But yeah, no, I, I think the tiny box is just going to be... Uh, is going to be um, AMD, uh, sorry, NVIDIA. I'm hungry. IMU firmware structure. Oh, well, actually, this is interesting. Wait, there might be code in the kernel driver that parses. What is this? Why does this not, is this because this is too big? We don't want to open the entire, I just want to open this. Can I open an integrated terminal? No. Open folder, yeah, kernel, Linux GUI, drivers, GPU. I think this is too big for it to like auto index. Uh, DRM AMD. So now, like when I right click on this, why can't I right click on this? Why doesn't that work? Oh, here. I have to include the C, install the CPP extension pack. I mean, if I switch to Scala. Yeah, man. All right, here we go. Size bytes, header size bytes. Let's see, does this match this? Size of the entire header in the image in bytes. So that's hex two zero five zero zero. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. All right, good. So this is what the here. It's called AMD GPU U code. Let's see if we have any hints at what it actually is. CB. Should drop a diss track on AMD. Oh, like guys, uh, you know, it's, 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 this isn't like Qualcomm. I said this earlier in my stream, maybe it's time to repeat myself. I could, if you made me CEO, chairman of the board of Qualcomm, I could double Qualcomm stock like overnight by firing the entire sales team and replacing them with a piece of paper that says the price of the chips, when you can buy the chips, and we'll end up making more money, right? The, the company will end up making more money. It won't play any of these zero sum sales games. Uh, it will give companies like, like Rock Chip and MediaTek will not have a fighting chance against my new Qualcomm. I could fix Qualcomm overnight. Um, AMD, uh, I could start a process. I could start a process that would be fixed, that would have this fixed in, in a year. Um, it would be a struggle. Uh, I, like, I'm, not, I'm not even sure, right? I'm not even sure it, it could be fixed. I mean, I would start by open sourcing everything. Like not everything, but like 
I'm not going to open source like the Verilog so someone can build clone chips, but I'm going to open source the firmware. Um, they probably can't have stock at all due to costs. Yeah, it's okay not having stock, right? I I'm saying that we have a thing that tells you this is how much shit costs if you place an order today. Right? I I'm cutting out the middleman and replacing it with a piece of paper. And everyone will love Qualcomm. Why do I think Lisa replied to me? Uh, I, I mean, I fell for it, right? Like, to be fair, I fell for it and put more effort into this than I would have otherwise. Um, yeah. So, like, in that respect, it worked. Uh, but, again, you have to not look at people giving you platitudes and niceties. You have to look at what they've actually given you. And they've given me zero documentation and they've given me zero code. Right? I should have just looked at this code. I should not have spent any time talking to AMD, and that was the mistake. Right? I should have spent time really looking at this code. And like, you know what it is? Like now I'm just angry about the whole thing. Like, I don't know. I mean, if we get to the bottom of this, maybe it's actually somewhat like salvageable. I don't know. I mean, I just don't want to deal with like like the closed source firmware and stuff, and it's just it's just upsetting. It's like upsetting knowing that like you work so hard on something and then you have people on the other side just say, well, the in-order queue didn't work, so we switched it to the out-of-order queue. I mean, we don't really know if that one works better, but like, ah, I couldn't reproduce the issue. Like, it's just, it's just so, it's not, I don't want to reward that behavior. Well, NVIDIA is closed source, but NVIDIA works. You think I want to be, I mean, I enjoy this stuff, but from a company perspective, you think I wouldn't just be much happier if the firmware just worked? Let's say from a company perspective, if only the user space was shit, like that'd be phenomenal. But I mean, that's not the case. Uh, where's my food? I'm, I waited too long to order to order food. DRM debug. What is DRM debug? So this is the MES stuff. <coughs> uh, okay, I think it's time we go back to uh... Binwalk can detect architecture from binary. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try Binwalk. What watch Binwalk installs so much stuff. I feel like I've tried Binwalk on it before and it didn't work. Uh, no, 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 no. This is this is like the client for the MES. It's not the firmware for the MES. If the problem was just that the code, if if the code is open source and the only problem is signing, that's, that's, you know, a lot easier to work around. Tried Binwalk, didn't print anything for you? Yeah. What is this microcontroller? Imagine replacing all this... What if I look at like Tahiti? Like, what if I go back? Sometimes it's easier. It's nice that we have like all of them here. D does nobody know the answer to this? Uh, let's ask Claude. 
I doubt Claude. I'm sorry I can't use Claude on stream. Uh, what architecture is used on the firmware microcontrollers of the AMD GPUs? Uh, many GPUs use ARM Cortex-M. Some older GPUs use 8051. Some use custom architectures. Binwalk would find ARM, right? look like arm reset vectors, right? It's definitely a little endian. It's either arm or risk five. That's This is when I was looking at trying to fix the call. This is when I was trying to fix the uh, fire hose. This is when I was trying to fix the uh, the the one plus. Um, they added signing. There's now signing on the images. Stupid project name. AMD firmware. I'm upset that everyone's like switched to Ghidra and no one uses Ida anymore because like I'm not good at Ghidra and I'm like too old to get good at it the way I was good at Ida. Uh, let's just copy this. See, so I mean like refresh. Oh. All right, we'll try risk five. Uh, default, little default. I don't think it's risk five. You have something? Why can't I show Claude contract? I have, a, I have a contract that I'm not allowed to show Claude. Yeah, I've read this paper. I wonder if they talk about it. Do they say what it is? This is a good paper, by the way. I'm kidding about the Claude contract thing. I'm just not showing you Claude. Claude. Claude's shy. I didn't get his written consent to be on this stream. All right. Um, is it RISC-V? No, it's not RISC-V. I hate that crap trying to get that thing to work too. Did it talk about it in here? <coughs> oh, there's some good paper links in here too. So NVIDIA makes their own, I think it's called Falcon. AMD down here. Nothing. Nothing. 
nothing. AMD, GPU, firmware. We haven't even found out the architecture. Like That's like... Can we just pick a jump instruction? I mean, it's not risk five, right? We, we tried risk five and we got nothing. I mean, I don't know. We can, we can try ARM. I haven't actually tried ARM. I, I know slow Gidra is too. I have, I have an M3, I have an expensive ass M3. And this shit manages to be slow. Did I actually delete the file now? No, I didn't. I just deleted it from the thing. See, it's like unclear. Let's just like, just so I don't like waste a ton of time and like it was actually armed the whole time. That actually looks plausible. I mean, wait, maybe it was just arm the whole time, okay? And why didn't bin walk work? Let's fix this decompile, blah, 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 blah. Privacy and security allow anyway. It's also very upsetting that it has zero strings. Open. All right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, this actually just looks like ARM. Wow, okay, did we just like waste, I don't know what instruction that is, who would use it? Oh, it's also like Cortex, which might have different looking. Is the ARM Cortex architecture different? Let's look at the entry point. It doesn't actually look right. Maybe the entry point is data. Oh, man, you should have seen that. I used to be so good with Ida. Not that good with Gidra. All right. Um, well, we do know some stuff about this. So we probably have the wrong load address. Those are pointers, they're not aligned with anything. Cortex M is different from Cortex A. All right, let's let's see if we can like really find structure. Uh, 
firmware is necessary to install the proper build it into the kernel the options direct firmware load fail Logs for known Carter models. So we have uh, Navi 31. Oh, we also, it uses these ones as well. Interesting. So they're not all GCs. Oh, I see. So it's GFX that, but it's these other ones too. Okay, that's cool. Let's put that into docs. SMU is very interesting since it's like the main AMD security chip should be called the PSP. Okay. Well, so, you know what wouldn't surprise me? It wouldn't surprise me if they use the same uh, stuff that they use for like the Epic microcode. Let's just read, let's just read this, this, this more carefully. Um, all that, that, that firmware stuff was, Marguerites. Two minutes away. Coming by Tesla. Okay, we, we had some good we had some good stuff with that. I don't know where that thing went. Firmware. Ooh, attestation. Oh, that sounds like firmware attestation debug FS read. Oh, that's interesting. Let's just, let's just look in. Tracing read. Bin walk Y, and they all are arm. Oh, hey, Vivian, what's up? You can be a VIP in the channel. Wait, but let's first check. Let's first check your alpha here. What is Y in bin walk? My, my bin walk doesn't have Y. I'll still make a VIP in the channel though. Mm -hmm. 
think it's this. Yes! Yeah, food! I got enemies, got a lot of enemies. Is the firmware open source? Nope. We don't even know what architecture it is yet. It doesn't help Tiny God. Mm. Why is my computer, what is it doing? Why, why is that using 100% of my CPU? Yeah, the bowl seems small, I know. Oh. Interesting. I mean, my bin walk just doesn't have that. I guess I don't even know, know enough version of it. Let's just build it. It's not about helping Tiny Grad, it's about sending a message. Python? Look, we don't hate AMD. We're just, I, I, I blame myself. I blame myself for getting duped. Why? How come I don't have why? Usage why this as as them. Open file this as them. I was running the one I, I mean, that's the, the number of the git checkout. I don't know. Oh, maybe I have to install. No, I'm, I'm using the new one. Here, oh, don't load the disk as a module if the capstone module can't be found. Is this is gonna work. Maybe. Spicy. Why is it so 
Okay. Is that the one I loaded? No, I loaded mess. Um, loaded firmware and do GPU. It's so scary how they don't have any strings. And again, it's just like I'm too old for this. I did Bluetooth adapter ones. Yeah. I just like take a look at what's there. They do verbose, it'll print them out. Wait. Yeah, I mean, take a look at the code it found. No, this isn't right. Like, that's not code. That's junk. It's not real. That's something else. It's too much stuff is just thumb. OpenCL and RockM are not firmwares. Invalid argument? Okay, well, I don't know what that does. Um, I had the thing that was showing me what the what the firmwares were. It's called like common. I had the file. Here we go. Common firmware header. Okay, in the SMU. Okay, well, we know also that we're in SMU 13. One of my notes here. That's my notes. So we're in SMU 13. Um, SMU 13 init microcode. Did they print a header? View code ID SMC. Oh, wow, that looks cool. I mean, if we really dive into this enough, there's no security on it at all. And like, you just re you would just enable one of those things. What's MPPT?
and I mock the firmware. Haha, <laughs> stupid firmware. Like that. Oh, we had that SMU thing printed out, which was cool. Yeah. SMU driver if version, SMU firmware if version. Send SMC message. Okay, so usually you have crap like this. This is like what's sending a message to like this. You want to start to forget fuzzing the AQLQ. They probably do fuzz the AQLQ. Start looking at these messages that are being sent to the SMC. I mean, in that change log, they basically just said, here's an MES vulnerability to create a, create a corrupt linked list. Um, all right, the vigilante, you're the reason that we're going to subscriber only chat. I just want I just want everyone to like kind of be aware if they're asking a question, if they're trying to derail or not. Uh, yeah, so this is like the same thing as, like this is actually just straight up better than the stupid tool. Thank you, Smurfty. That's why you're a VIP. It's just straight up better than that. Okay. It was in the docs, fire. What docs? A lot of it's just reading the docs. Hacking is also another 30% reading the docs. Ooh, I managed to get the Linux version. Look at that. Hi, right, Leo. Thank you for gifting subs. Always remember, if you have a question, I'm always here for you. There's two ways to get your questions answered. One is to make them be good questions. The other is to pay money. That's how education works. Okay. What's a PP table? Get PP table from firmware. Set PP table. Oh. PP table signed. What's a PP table? Okay, well, I mean, we can. Do you want to just like write some C to parse these structs? At least we're getting somewhere. The PP table, right? Okay. Uh, let's just throw together some quick. Okay, let me copy from here AMD GPU U code. a little tool in C called firmware info. Um, of course, when you code in C, you have to use vim. God, how does anyone code in vim? I lied. This is impossible. Nobody's ever coded anything in vim. And anyone who tells you otherwise is damn wise. File F equals open RC, do like that. Free F, no, no, we need something like structs, common, <coughs> firmware header, one header. Uh, we're going to free it into header, size of header, uh, from F. And then we're gonna print F. 
I have like nice tooling for this in Python. Uh, we're not using Python now, are we? We're, we're not on my planet, are we? Oh, we don't need sock BBs. Oh well. Who needs sock BBs when we have standard int? Oh no! We don't need file. Expected semicolon or shit before shit. Oh, we have to include standard bool. Oh, we got bools. Sock bounding box has incomplete type. I'm gonna comment that one out. I don't know. Or you know what? Whatever, man. Type that in sock bounding box. Incomplete type. Fuck you. more data types. Do you need these ones? Struct mutex. Oh, where's a mutex? All right, sock BB. Let's go get sock BB. Crap, do we need to import sock BB? All right, I lied. We're not going to use Vim. Vim's impossible. Anyone who ever says they coded anything in Vim was a liar. Mutex as incomplete type. Struct mutex mutex. Oh, struct mutex. Lock. Check out my mutex. Isn't it leap? Okay. Uh, unexpected. That's probably just because I made typos. Yeah, I just got those. All right. Okay. We need to pass in the name of a firmware. Lib firmware and GPU. Uh, let's look at the SMU. Okay. Size and bytes is that? Does that match the actual size and bytes of the file? I don't know because we printed it in hex. Let's return zero because you did such a good job. Let's also add to my git ignores a.out because we never want to commit a.outs. Let's go. Wow, this is some old school hacking stuff. I see why you guys got viewers. It's like what I used to do back in the day, boys. Um, ew, IP. Okay. Uh, let's look at the size of the U code in bytes and let's look at the offset to the U code. Payload offset from the start of the header. That's got to be an X. All right. That was less useful than I thought it would be. The U code starts at hex 100. Okay, that's U code. All right, great. Wait, dollar sign PS1? Is this written in PowerShell? Oh, you know about the PP table? Wait. What is this? What is this and who made this? Play 
tables. Oh, interesting. Cool. There's no one can edit all this stuff. Ah, the what you found out the 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 it was actually UTF uh, sixteen. The code is just emojis. You can fry your car. Mm. Um. Okay, that's great that we have stuff. But okay, so the U code clearly starts here. What is this? How do I group XXD by four? That does look like one. Kind of. Oh, that's the wrong ending in this. I... Yeah, that's not ARM. AR64? Not AR64. Not thumb MIPS. Wait, that's the most plausible actually. That's jumping somewhere crazy though. No, it's not MIPS. MIPS 64? Even though there was a MIPS 64. Power PC. Well, but they're not reset vectors, right? Those aren't addresses. Why does this look so weird? How does no one on the internet know the answer to this? It's not encrypted. It's not compressed. I'm not checking offsets. This is right at the beginning. about U code. CPNN microcode. Header U code version. Okay, we have a U code version. Let's print the U code version. Also, do I, I, I don't need to pass in an argument yet. Let's just write out the, the files. Uh, let me just make that. Actually, no, I have an idea. Uh, for i i equals zero, i less one, i less ten arc c, i plus plus.
crap struck for that too. see so you code version is some looks kind of like crap maybe it's better than hatch it's interesting look the IMU is almost all you code it's almost all you code but the SMU is gonna have a bunch of MPP tables in there differential stuff. So maybe that first thing was a bad place to start because it looks like it radically changes, but then the rest of the stuff doesn't look like it changes that much. That might just be a hash. I might just be wasting my time looking at a hash. That might even be a signature, a 1D0. I know they say that's where the U code starts, but yeah, that shit's not code. It's very recognizable as code once you get down to 22. Once you get down to 2200. Uh, let me go back to printing with grouping four. George, why don't use a real hex editor? Because I haven't hacked anything in so long. Is it possible that it's Big Endian? I mean, take a look at those numbers, right? Let's look at one that's more radically different, you know? The worst part is I was better at this stuff when I was 24. I bet 24-year-old me, like, would already know. What did I give up these skills for? Looks like the SMU is a different architecture from the MES. Oh, and look who it is, it's fail overflow. Ah, very cool. So it's internal custom garbage. Great. AMD U code info. Did someone already write a better version of? Oh, very cool. Thank you for writing a better version than me. Tools. 
All right. Um, so, you know, I'm not really a hacker. I'm actually a script kitty. So there's that. Um, you know, people are really let down when they find out about this fact that it turns out I can't actually hack and I just steal other people's stuff. I mean, you know, at least I'm honest about it. It's really important though, is to always take credit. Whenever there's a video camera, you should take credit. Like right now. Um, no, you know how I really feel about that. Like, all right, so where did this stuff come from? Right either. I think this only works for some of them. <sighs> Why did they make their own custom garbage? Islands GPU CA. Which is C Islands? <coughs> How old is this? Twenty thirteen. I mean, it's kind of concerning that they have a custom garbage microcode processor here. A related but incompatible variant. Oh God. So interesting. This almost doesn't look like I mean, this looks more like a um, like a GPU language than a uh, if it's a green logo, it's ancient. <laughs> okay, Radeon microcode processor, which seems internally to be called microcode. F32. Why is the AMD microcode? There's a lot of proprietary stuff. Oh, I see what they did it for. It's the PS4 GPU. The upstream Radeon guys are... Mm. Code for an embedded processor I don't want to document.
is this stuff? We have a second Pokeball, because that ball is small. is very difficult to do. Like, you know, in all my talking to AMD, they didn't even tell me any of this stuff. Right? Like, like it was just zero technical information. And that that was that was the giveaway. Like that was that was the giveaway. I, I think people have said this about Sam Altman's Lex. It's like the guy talked for a long time, but managed to say nothing. Well, <laughs> I mean, this kind of gets at why everything's so fucked, right? We can't even find the architecture for these things. It doesn't seem to match this. Are these real things that exist anywhere else? Oh, PM4 it opcodes. Actually, what's so funny is it's these same opcodes. I have heard this. Uh, it's the same opcodes in Qualcomm. Did you know Adreno, or the Qualcomm GPU, is an anagram of Radeon? I think I'm getting obsessed with these packet three things. I don't think that's really true. This is actually just an assembler, like a disassembler. You have to go off results, not promises. Yeah. No, nine months, zero technical information from anyone at AMD. It's a culture problem. The best they would do is link me to stuff that's already public. And I've been complaining about the same stuff for nine months, so there's no excuse. It's like you gave him a week. No, I didn't. I gave him nine months. You know, kind of the beauty of um, a lot of the uh, compute stuff is most of the complexity in GPUs goes into the GPUing, not into the computing. Computing is much simpler. Oh. Well, when the MES crashes with message 14, like, check out that other tool. Container file. Oh, have you seen my work reverse engineering the uh the same magic number? Oh, I don't think this is the same. Yeah, this isn't right. This AMD U code info is for the CPO, it's not right. 
All right, so we're back to good old FW info. What? Why does that fall? Um. Shit, 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 shit in front of it. So those are the different like targets. You can load it through different things. I bet you you think the signing works? Who thinks the signing works? There are all these functions to print the headers. We could probably just compile them, but this doesn't look all that interesting. Is this useful for tiny grad? Not really. An equally appropriate name for this dream would have been like giving up on AMD GPUs. Um, it's cathartic for tiny grad. No, I've been really, I've been really angry the last two days. Like, I have this idea, you know. Take a uh, take a ten minute break. We'll get back into this. Um, glad we got a lot of viewers. That's cool. Well, we can try flipping a couple bits, but we really don't even know how to load the firmware yet. We'll get there. There might be a CRC. There might be a lot of things. Um, we will. Uh, we'll get there. No, I don't know. I kind of feel like this is what I want to do for the rest of my weekend. Who thinks? I, I, I wish, I wish there was some light at the end of the tunnel. You know, I would bet quite a bit of money that if I spent the rest of the weekend on this, by Sunday we'd understand these things. Um, what does it get us? On Monday, we dismantle the AMD tiny boxes. We take the AMD GPUs out, we put NVIDIA GPUs in, we sell the AMD GPUs on eBay, we try to recoup our losses, and we move on. Well, we're, we're, 
you're here. You miss Tiny Ten. You'll miss, you'll miss Tiny Ten. How do you feel about Tiny Ten with forty nineties in it? Better Tiny Ten. Closing I want tiny. Ooh. You code start address. What's a ta bin? Is AMD Pro different? Not at all. Like the, the W cards, they're the exact same thing. Some of them just have more RAM. What all reduce were you getting? UUVN wrote it. 12 gigabytes a second across across six, which is quite good. Um, no, but it's like, it, 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 I'm down to put any amount of work into this. It, it's not a question of the work. It's a question of just the disheartening nature of knowing that we're going to get to the end and we're just going to have a black box. All right? It's not a question of complexity. Sure, you know, we could reverse engineer this, but like, come on. Um, like at that point, well, actually, I'll say what it really is. The reason why, sure, we're having fun on the stream, it's cathartic, but... The problem is reverse engineering is not is not sustainable and it's not something we would have to do if we built our own hardware. Um, oh, make a pull request to TinyGrad? To be honest, I'm not sure we'd merge it. The Tense Torn Accelerator looks very different from anything else that people have and it's not, it's not remotely competitive. It's not even competitive with Intel GPU. Um, they're gonna fix it, but like the truth is, you know, I, I can't sell a product like that's not dollars per flop competitive or dollars per gigabyte per second competitive. Um, you know, Tiny Grad originally, Tiny Corp, before it was a company, we were originally gonna do a contract for Tenstore. Um, yeah. Yeah, in some ways that would have been nicer. Probably in a lot of ways. Instead, no, the, the main problem with the 10 store and accelerator is not even the compute. It's a lack of RAM bandwidth and a lack of, well, it has the same PCIe interconnect, but I don't know how well that works. I don't know if it's PCIe 4, PCIe 3. Uh, like, to be fair with the GPUs, they do have working. Like, this stuff does have to work to an extent for games. Um, do big corps get better software under NDA? No. That almost never happens. Um, there is no, like, better software. What big corps might get is support, but... Uh, their whole method of doing support seems very messed up to me. And I understand this is how the games work too. That it's like you report a bug and they'll assign an engineer to fix it. Which like is fine if you're hitting obscure bugs, but none of this stuff is that obscure. There's a ton of stupid complexity here. Um, and again, you say that I'm, I'm just shit talking and saying, George, you can't do it better. Like compare our user space to the whole user space of AMD. We, we succeeded at that. We succeeded at cutting out the user space. Give us another couple months, we could succeed at cutting out the kernel driver. But then we're up against, we're up against firmware, which is not only sunk, is not only closed source, but it has no strings and it's in God knows what instruction set. Like, 
you know how much effort it is? It's doable. Do you know how hard it is to reverse engineer something when strings returns nothing? Just build a big wafer with multiple risk fives. Um, I actually think Tens Torrent is also designing for a paradigm that doesn't exist yet. I think it's interesting to explore, but it's much more of a research problem. Um, if you're designing more for a paradigm that exists today, like even Cerebus is pushing it. Um, I mean, Cerebus looks a lot like Tens Torrent, but. Mm. All right. Give me, give me a 10, 15 minute break and then we'll get back to this. We'll try to figure out how the firmware loads, how the firmware executes. There's gotta be some sort of like, have we really found a bug that stops the viability of AMD Tinybox? Yeah. You, you're tra you run the ResNet trainer and it'll just freeze after a number of steps. AMD tells me they can't replicate it. I, the guy trying to, re like one of the guys trying to replicate it has like his rock am installed in the wrong place. And I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not AMD's unpaid QA team, right? Like, like if you want to send me a tool, if AMD, again, they gave me nothing. If they're like, oh, here, use this tool. It'll dump out a binary file every time the GPU gets into a bad state and we can look into that. They didn't give me anything like that. I don't know if they have it or if they're just like, you know, here's another, here's another hypothesis, right? Let's say you're AMD and you're evil. Let's say you're AMD and you really don't like what we're doing, right? You're AMD and you, you want TinyBrook to fail. You don't want anyone to use the consumer GPUs. You want to push your MI platform. What you do is you string us along and lead us into a place you know is unsustainable, right? I'm not saying this happened, but I'm just saying like, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, the, the BIOS ROM I want? No, it's not. It's not actually malice. It's, it's, yeah, it's incompetence. But uh, could also be that the hardware is messy and they don't want to show that. Well, if it's that, I'm going to say if it's one of two things, if it's that they don't want to show it, well, this stream is going to get more views than any source code they release. If they if they quietly release the MES and the CP source code, that would get less views than the stream is going to get. Uh, so I'll say that to that. If their concerns are about security, if their concerns are actually about, oh, we have some security like threat model kind of thing, I will find an exploit by Sunday if it would convince them. I think their consumer cards are competing against NVIDIA's consumer cards. Yeah, they are. They are. And you can see what percent of the market AMD has, right? Um, no, I don't think they're evil. Again, I'm just saying that if you were evil, would you act that differently? I, again, I, I'm thinking back to all my interactions with them. You know, I had, I had four meetings... Probably, probably a hundred emails. Like, they gave me nothing. They gave me some beta releases of their software. I don't want that. I don't want binary block. That's just here. You're our unpaid QA team. Figure out if you fix the uh, the, the the exploit. All right? Don't say exploit them. Well, obviously not. Everything I'm doing is on my own computer. It doesn't affect AMD. Right? It's it's my it's my hardware. Um, all right, short break and then back to work. I don't know. I'm losing enthusiasm for this still. It's just sad.
All right, we only lost 100 people. Okay. What's MC Extractor? No, this is the wrong kind of microcode. This is this is for the uh, this is for the uh, All right. Oh. PSP ring submit. Right frame is pointing to address out of bounds. Interesting. And so when I cap that firmware attestation thing, huh. That's interesting. So let's label what all these things are. Um, SMU is system manager. PSP, platform security processor. Hey Google's firmware validation. Another low level security tasks. What's the DCN? Display core next. So that probably handles the. Uh, Oh, didn't I see some crap about the DMU as well? DMU B via PSP. Oh, now we know what the PSP is. Okay. We load the DMUB firmware via the PSP. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. I understand those words now. You just immerse yourself in the language. You know, I remember. The last thing I got like obsessed with was the PS3. I just remember going to sleep and like thinking about the PS3 and all the things in it. And, yeah. Do you think the PSP is on? Well, that's exciting. That you know for sure. How for sure do you know that? Wait, it has strings? Ooh, it has strings. You can Google it, it's well known. Oh, well this is very exciting. Okay. There's a lot of research about the PSP. Oh, you looked, no, 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 no. Again, careful. There's the PSP in the AMD Epics and there's the PSP in the GPU. Now they may be the same, but they also may not be. You know, on the, you're talking about the CPU thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, there's also a PSP on the uh, on the GPU. It's possible it's the same. 
It's cool that there's been a lot of research on this though. Like sometimes you only need one to like start to get in. I mean, what's so addictive about this stuff for me is like, oh yeah, that's arm, you're right. You can spot arm by all the E's. You see all the E's there? So this is actually arm. Okay, awesome. Let's start taking a look. Uh... Arm Cortex A5. Is that a cortex? They're not that different. I don't like cortex has a bunch of instructions. Okay, this is on. See, this is what it looks like when you guess it right. Like, there's like a, like a thing that actually like looks like code. Um, cool. All right. <laughs> um, so I think what's cool is if we break the PSP, we break the whole thing, right? Now, to be fair, if it's shared with the CPU, it may not be so vulnerable. Those things are actually probably pretty secure and audited by good people. We're probably much more likely to find a vulnerability in the uh, Falcon code, whatever shit. The more obscure something is, the more likely it is to have vulnerabilities. PSP reverse, but no, I have an idea the CPU one might be the same. This is true. Let's see like how different it looks. Well, let's just take my firmware info tool to it. Okay, so why is there an SOS and a TA? No, they're, they're very different. Um, <laughs> uh. Wait, um, by the way, the thing about being sued is uh, I, I can't, like, literally what I'm doing here is working to enable interoperability uh, with my uh, deep learning library. All right, then, you know, the PS3, you can say it's like piracy. This is literally to enable interoperability. They'd stand no chance in a lawsuit. Um, also, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not 21 anymore. Uh, you know, look, look at, the, look at, remember, do you guys remember when Axel Nix tried to sue me? You know, you can, you can ask Axel Nix how that went for him. Um, don't sue me. Don't sue me. I really don't take, uh, take time to do it. No, I mean, there's nothing illegal about reverse engineering. Uh, most of the shrink wrap license agreements are not, uh, I mean, they're, they're valid in certain circumstances, but reverse engineering for interoperability is a well understood protected, uh, protected thing. I'm also like, I'm not a little bitch. Like, you know. <laughs> Um, so many people, another thing, like, you see it all the time. People are like, you can't use NVIDIA cards for commercial purposes. Uh, yeah, you can. You can, you, you can totally use NVIDIA consumer cards for commercial purposes. This is 
not remotely prohibited. NVIDIA has something in their CUDA EULA that says it's not licensed for data center deployment. Nobody has ever, as far as I know, been sued over this. NVIDIA is never going to sue anybody over this. I'll tell you exactly what NVIDIA is going to do. NVIDIA doesn't want Azure rolling out 4090s in Azure. So NVIDIA adds that clause. Azure's like, well, shit, we don't want to upset NVIDIA. And it would actually be really stupid. I mean, like, Azure's not going to start to roll out 4090s because then they're not going to get allocation for H100s. It, it, that, that clause has been so misinterpreted to think it targets like a little person. I also think that, um, that Cory Doctorow, uh, I, I read his book, and usually I like a lot of Cory Doctorow stuff, but he thinks that a lot of what holds back like digital interoperability is laws around reverse engineering. This just isn't true. Um, I would be happy to reverse engineer whatever for interoperability. It's just annoying. Like, it, it, it's annoying. It's also hard to really do for commercial. Like, once you start doing it for commercial purposes, but um, reverse engineering for interoperability of open source software, super well understood to be uh, to be to be good. Wait, we're gonna get the actuallys in the comments. We're gonna get the actuallys in the comments for this video. Also, like, what are you going through life so scared about? What do you think they're gonna take from you, you know? Like, I've set up my life such that if you actually were to sue me and win serious stuff, you're not gonna get anything. Um, you want to build stuff. This is just generally good advice, right? If you have $100 million in a bank account, you're just a straight-up target, right? Someone can take that $100 million from you. And this isn't even just about lawsuits. This is just about anything. This is about whether people are going to try to scam you. This is What you want to do is set stuff up that it's very valuable if you're there, but the minute you turn adversarial to it, it becomes worthless. Um, using a 4090 with SIRV... Well, I mean, there's other things in the 4090s that are that are that are blocked in in Nvidia's. I'm not even sure it's their firmware. It might be eFuses. Um. Uh, but yeah, no. If you want to um, reverse engineer for interoperability, uh, by all means. It also comes down to like, you know, another thing to always realize about the courts is the courts are very, uh, are very reasonable, right? Like people think they're going to get away on a technicality, right? People think like, oh, well, you know, uh, like the, the recent Nintendo lawsuit with the emulator, right? Like, yeah, emulation's legal. If you have a Patreon where you're making tons and tons of money and a Discord where you're telling people how to pirate games, <laughs> you know, you 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 uh you get what's coming to you. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying like, you know, the, the courts are very capable uh, of understanding context. Um, you know, in this case, the context is that I spent eight, uh, seventy thousand dollars on GPUs that are uh, you know buggy. They don't work with my open source deep learning software. Uh, can some employee dump the docs and firmware? No, that's illegal. Um, I mean, it's illegal for that employee. Uh, could it be a hardware bug with no clean software fix? Very possibly, yeah. Uh, but see, at least if, if, if that's true, if something's a hardware bug, I'm much more open to like mitigations and workarounds, where if something is, uh, you know, just uh, screw you, the software is closed, eh, I'm less interested. Okay, where were we? So we have two PSPs, we have the SOS and the TA. Let's try to understand what those are. Actually, that's weird. Wouldn't you think that the thing has to reference that somehow? Good night after work tech.
So I don't understand. You have this SOS and TA thing. <coughs> oh, here. We don't read patents, unfortunately. Uh, in general, your lawyer will tell you don't read patents. Um, okay, we have the PSP SOS and the PSP ASD. All commented out. Which ones of these do we have? Here we go, we have SOS and ASD. And that actually looks kind of bugged. It looks like that doesn't read correctly, actually. Start with the strings. What's an SOS and what's a TA? PSP key encryption key. Did you have data for signing? data Gonna be an AMD wrap. Like I said, it's it's mostly just sad, and the stream is mostly just cope. Strings in there. Hmm, this one has a few strings. What's the VCN? Core next um, hardware and decoder. Yeah, media engine here. So I'm not sure what SDMA stands for. I don't know what DMA stands for, but what's SDMA? System DMA. Oh, all right, this is kind of cool. Here we go, list here. GC stands for graphics and compute. Okay. PSP, DCN, SPMA, video core next. Okay. Oh, I see. Wow. Okay, so the CP inside of here 
is actually a ton of different bullshits. Oh, I see. Okay, the PFP, the ME. I right, finally, finally, we understand. Um. No, there's not actually some LZMA stuff. Whenever it detects that, it's never real. Okay, I shouldn't be totally sure about that, but try decompressing it and see if it, uh... Oh, okay, this is pretty good. I don't know, like, even, again, even if AMD, like, why do you jerk me around, you know? Why do you give me bullshit? Like, why don't you just, like, like it's like, it's like secretive for some reason. I just don't like that. I don't like that when like companies are like that. Like this is actually cool. I, to be fair, I haven't really looked that much into this stuff. Like... Microcode container files. No, no, we know what those are already. Also, no, it's not that. That's the other kind of microcode. Notice how it says CPU. Firmware that runs on these microcontrollers, right? Oh, all right, so we have another thing here called the run list controller. What's the IMU? We can probably go through these things and just read the driver and see if the driver kind of like describes what they are anywhere. It should all be in here. Don't talk to the company. Read their shit. You know, you gotta just, just always remember that lesson. Um, like they're not gonna help you. Oh no. Like this is dumb. I don't wanna be doing this. Great. I mean, all these stupid acronyms, like I should just be doing this for the video. Go work on my, uh, my CUDA. Rip the user space ass of, rip the user space ass out of CUDA like we did for AMD. All right, that's the real way. That's, 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 that's fun. All right, well, at least I'm entertaining 1,500 people. Hopefully you're entertained. If you're not entertained, I'm sorry. Oh, how long was it the copyrighted music? Hey, you know what? After work tech is asleep. <laughs> Let's listen to the copyrighted music. No. Listen to Creative Commons Chip Tune. New music under Creative.
crap. <laughs> Music is at least 3x louder than me. Uh, well, I think, yeah. Oh, this is copyrighted. You have to get rid of the copyrighted. Um, Lo-fi creative commons. Do we think it's actually no copyright?
How do you just build one module in the kernel tree? Alt sys request F. Oh, here we go. A hardware roll, I don't care about that. No, oh, there we go. No! Oh, oh, fucking control C. Make die. Why don't they just set the keyboard and SSH to very high priority? No, we don't have to do fault injection, guys. There's 17 million vulnerabilities in this thing. I, I mostly named it finding exploits just to just to clickbait people. Wow, the music lost people. Come on, come back. I just needed the M. I just needed the M argument. I just needed an M. Now we have that crap. Kill all make. Alt sys request F. Okay, here's my keyboard. <laughs> I know where F is. <laughs> I don't know where sys request is. Print screen? Does this work through SSH? I would try to go to the computer, but I'm gonna regret that. Oh, not over SSH. Well, what good is that? We'll give it two more minutes, then we'll hard reboot the computer. And we'll remember to not throw so many J's on that bitch. Sometimes you just use too much J's, man. We'll reboot the computer. It boots fast. I held down the power button. Why reboot? Cause, I, I, how do I press those keys over SSH? And which is the print screen key? <laughs> I gotta go find a keyboard. I hope it reboots. If it doesn't come back, that's just the end of this. That, that's that's a good place to stop and give up. <laughs> Not bullish. All right. We didn't hard reboot it. Let's give it a hard reboot. Back, my computer, come back. It's right here. <laughs> mm. 
No, to reboot over SSH? No, that's not. And now the host is just down. I don't know if that's progress. back boys we back oh wow we're so back we're so back all right what lesson did we learn don't do too many J's don't do too many J's all right, let's build module. Uh, four is not too many J's, right? Concerning that it's building them here. One J per two gigs of RAM is quite safe? I don't think so. I only have 32 cores and I do have, yeah, that's not a safe, that's, that's not safe J's. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, fine. 16 J's, fine. Because we use B top, we love B top. B top's the nicest top. I mean, it's not actually as useful as H top, but it's beautiful. I think that's what the B stands for. Wow, that's pretty hot, CPU. For some reason, we're building like no goo in the world. Oh, look at all this crap. Oh, no. Oh, wow, look at all these, these O's. Remember to push my, uh, my notes? probably have to just make everything. Oh, that's not good. I just build one module. Why doesn't this work? How do I just build the AMD GPU module? We have to find a good way here. Let's check config. Yeah, and our DRM AMD GPU is Just build it. The in tree kernel module. 
Oh, by the way, we can't, that's kind of annoying that we can't get diff that. So wherever I put in that stupid, uh, I think we're gonna get a fat PSP. We should be able to find the module. So what if I just do this? All right. Gonna have a few more. No. Mr. Proper is, but I remember that you had to type that sometime when you were making kernels. Right, let's make old config. Now let's make this, but only with J16. What is this happening? Get your config. Oh, here. Make MR proper. Make old config. Make that. Scripts prepare, modules prepare. Why is this happening? Debian build. How do I build in the Debian system? They were doing like some fake root garbage. build environment. I'm at primary table undeclared. All right, let's start over. Do not use app get. Use the fetched R copy. No, we're using app source. I believe in app source. Only pain you will find. Why? Pseudo app store, Linux source, I don't know what is it, rename dash r. 
and not find any package like that. Linux source that. Target VF user source Linux source. Why is there a VM Linux there? All right, untar the whole stupid kernel. This doesn't even exist anymore. <coughs> Need to replace this with that. Oh, actually, not even just that. I want to go into AMD. That's where I want to be, yeah. All right. Make some shit with only eight J's. All right. Copy current exported kernels module. Make uh, let's just make AMD GPU. This looks good. All right, I think I think good. Wow, this is this is a useful. This is the only useful thing. Oh yeah, look at them mubs. Look at them mubs. Mub, 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 mub. And it's building it in tree, which, no, shut up, build in tree. In tree builds are no longer supported. All right, this would be cool. If we actually have a way to, if we could just ins mod that, that would be sick. So, Pseudo RM mod AMD GPU. We don't have an AMD GPU right now because we're building it with a reasonable amount of J's. Oh. Okay. Module only sim bars. I thought I did that. I thought I copied that thing in. VM Linux thought I was missing. Mod post. What's dash C? Does that do something? No. I'll try that. No rule to make. That target needed by mod final. Okay. Um, maybe this works. Oh. 
no Penelope file as a directory. Does that exist? Sick. All right. Who thinks insmod's gonna work? Pseudo insmod. change a string and see if we actually got it. Um, okay, what if we change it to say loading D mub 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 firmware? D mub 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 firmware, let's go. Fill my shit, bitch. We are fucking with the kernel at low levels. This is exciting. This is a celebration. This calls for, do we want another highball? I'm kind of feeling another highball. We're going hard. These are the old days. It's like the old days, you know? What's that? Oh man. All right, look, it's, it's fair use, man. We just got to watch that clip. You know that clip? Oh yeah, yeah. This, this is, this is, oh yeah. I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Someone should write a song about that. No, there's a lot more to it than that too. He's like, you know, it used to be the old days where, oh, that's, that's, that's deep, man. It's my favorite Andy Bernard moment. Normally I hate the guy, but you know. second highball, but we're also going to get a second spin drift to cancel out the highball. You can't just be drinking highball because you're thirsty. Taking a look at where, where's that shit where I'm talking to the PSP? Seems like a good place as any to start, right? Uh, PSP early in net. Which PSP IP version do we have? PSP funks. Um, wait for bootloader. Bring shit. Oh, this is working. Okay. 
to help her function. Here, PSP command. Here, let's look at it. PSP ring command submits. Right pointer. Just throw a print K in here. <coughs> How often are we talking to the PSP? Let's find out. Oh wait, no, no. We want to first let me throw an RM mod in here. Perfect. I actually love that I can remove and insert the module like that. It's very useful. All right. Look at all those PSP ring commands. What do you think we're saying to the PSP? Like they say on my favorite television show, let's find out. CMD, CMD, command ID, we'll look for submit, buff. Uh, where's my print K? Why is right clicking not working? Why is that not working? That's really annoying that that's not working. Let's try just loading it again. Okay, we got good, 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 good. Oh, yeah. All right, do we put that print out or print K in the right place? Throws. Oh yeah, did I mention how much percent of hacking was just print statements? A lot of it. All right, talking to the PSP. Wow, that talked to the PSP too. All right. We're sending a lot of sixes, but some 32s. Let's take a look at what those actually are. Oh, here we go, look at this. PSP GFX command name, oh, that's useful. Where's my print K? Wow, we really have a good work environment when we can do things like that. Oh yeah, look at all them load IP firmware, sexy. All right, so who does a load IP firmware? There we go. Oh, it uses reinforcement learning. So there's one that uses reinforcement learning and there's one that doesn't. You know what? Somebody actually will really believe that it uses reinforcement learning. Like if you were a noob watching this stream, you might really believe that. You might really believe that the... Okay. Um... PSP prep IP load firmware command buff. All right, let's just throw a print K here with this firmware type and U code size. Oh wait, I think we get the firmware type there. Reinforcement learning for register calling. That sounds sick, bro. Wow. When reinforcement learning starts to work, 
That's when we should all fear AI. All right. So now we have all the different firmware loads. Um, what happens if I go back to that thing where I don't, uh, remember when I was trying to not, trying to not use the firmware, use the PSP? I think that works. How do I insmod with arguments? Let's do that argument. Oh, wait, is this just the only function we're in here? Oh, I'm not even sure. No, these are bootloader loads. These might not even be IPs. Bootloader load component. Oh, look at all these components. You <laughs> think they're all properly signed? <laughs> um... Well, that's where all the firmware gets loaded. This guy, I gave you money, I didn't even acknowledge me. What if I just banned him? Would that be funny? I wouldn't do that to you, Amaga, but don't think you're, you're entitled to attention for using your Prime sub on me. If you buy someone a subscription, like Ice, Leo, and Jervis, you can ask a question. They've actually bought people multiple subscriptions. Ice, Leo has bought 36, and Jervis has bought 10. Those are people who get attention. You, with your Prime subscription, don't get shit. George, you're being ungrateful to people giving you money. I'd rather be poor than be grateful for your free Bezos money. With a potentially interesting DM on Discord. What do we got? What do we got? Don't make me regret taking my phone out for you. Whatever that is, I don't <laughs> Whatever that is, uh, yeah. Uh, this is, this is, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you can't post it, my general rule is whatever you can't discuss uh, publicly, like, like dick pics, uh, you know, if you're not willing to show your dick to everybody, I don't want to see your dick. But if you're willing to show your dick to everybody, uh, we might be uh, we might be interested. Um, that's yes, that's my euphemistic way of saying uh, we only use public sources. Uh, you know, when we're reverse engineering, we don't use private sources. For all sorts of various reasons. But yeah, no, I mean, like, look, this is, this is all, what we're going through right now is not just, uh, it's not even, this is, this is the actual upstream Linux kernel. Um, you know, so as far as, uh, this is even reverse engineering at some point, uh, this is just straight up engineering. Okay. We load the SOS. Copy the secure OS binary. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right, all right. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's take a look at this function. I have some theories. 
there might be some handshake with the hardware which needs delay. So a common uh, trick you can do is like let it verify the beginning of the firmware and then throw a mem copy in like right before it. Um, like, like let it, it's marching down verifying. If it's not very careful about the order in which it, uh, you know, does the memory. Let's even see if we're hitting this. Okay. Okay. We're hitting the bootloader load SOS, which is good. Uh, where's the TA thing too? We also have that, but the SOS one's the one I have here. Um, so this is reverse engineering, but is of course, it is for the purposes of interoperability with the custom firmware that we're going to make in Tiny Rat. That's going to be sick. Uh, you know, we love talk to bugs. Um, copy secure OS binary to PSP memory. Well, let's see where this PSP memory is. to use one X. All right. What? Oh, don't tell me these are like, is this like corrupted junk? I don't believe that's right. Is it like messing up the pointer? I feel like there's like some like Linux like pointer obfuscation stuff. I don't know if that's that, but no, no, no. We want H H N. What? Why are those pointers weird? Does Linux have like? Does this have like things so it doesn't leak the? Uh... There's no pointer obfuscation. Okay. Oh, maybe it just didn't build? I don't know. Okay. So, um, you have these things in these systems called a chain of trust. So you can see that if we could figure out how to uh, how to smash the uh, PSP. All right, so let's um, I don't know. What do you think of uh, one three? Let's just throw some leet in there. The PSP is not leet enough. We're gonna make it slightly more leet. Uh, make PSP more leet. Let's see what happens. Ah, void. Okay. Uh, Can't insert it because I didn't get rid of the arm mod. There is KSLR. Yeah, it's not SLR though. Okay, we got some uh, some exploit. What's this? PSP load SOS failed. Um, it did not like. Me. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah, it didn't like making the PSP more elite. Um, all right, let's not make it more elite. <laughs> uh, 
Do you think Mario Mod works or do you think we fucked it? We gotta reboot. Oh, nope. PSP load KDB failed. Can we reset the GPU maybe? Yeah, because there is no GPU. All right, let's try one more. RM mod, ins mod, cycle. We'll use the PSP. All right, well, now we're in a bad state. Try a good old pseudo reboot. Part of the reason that it is nice to use this and not a tiny box is uh... okay. So what we're gonna try next? Provide the PSP secure OS to bootloader. Uh... Where are we going to get the bootloader? It's a little annoying. You know what? I have a copy of this code here, too. So we can look at it while we wait for it to reboot. Be back soon. Uh, we're gonna look at what these um, these things are doing here. Primary MC address. Oh, I should cap my magic. Please be in history. Yeah, it's in history. That one's connected. This one's connected. Right. Keep that magic line. Do we have an understanding of whether it's the same? Probably share some code. But one of the differences between that PSP and this PSP is this PSP is loaded by the, uh, why do they write it like that? That's so much cleaner. Um, so let's see here. Reg MP0 36. Great, I love that name. These are the most useful register names I've ever seen, AMD. Thank you. Just put it in the 36 and the 35. Of course, they don't want to tell you which it is. Um, Let's first check a uh, clean normal build. All right, seems good. SOS are right there. Huh. Notice how those became, that one became normal. That one's still hella weird. Why is that address weird? It's got to be a normal address. 
There's a definition for PSP one meg. Is it like a different meg? <laughs> the PSP one meg, guys. Um, you're gonna trust memory region. Yeah, I mean, but that's the opposite of. So let's just move this make PSP more elite. I really have no idea. You know what? No, no. Before we before we start doing that, um, let's let's hex dump a little bit of this. Uh, for anti equals, I don't know if you can do that actually in the kernel. But like put my variables up there or something. I equals zero. I Take a look at where in the PSP that actually is. Okay. Uh, let's take it. Wait a second. You know what occurs to me? What would happen if we actually did corrupt it? See what I'm saying? Like, what would happen if we actually did? We didn't do that very carefully. Uh, no, I, we can't. We can't just. Oh, we can't think that happened. That would be too serendipitous. All right, let's find this string. Twenty-four, fifty, fifty-three, thirty-one. Okay, here we go. Is that it? No, it also appears there. Oh, it's PS1. Oh. That's probably that first one, actually. PS1, that's 26590? No, it's something different. Alright, A2F5 178C. That right before that. This doesn't look like code. I'm skeptical. But wait, this is that. Well, this is definitely that. Also, I should not have put that slash n in there. At least not the space n. <coughs> So weird. Twenty four there. Okay, so that's this is the address. This is the start address. Like, how weird is that? See what I'm saying? Why is that the start address? This barely, this isn't even code. This isn't code. This is code maybe? Not code. It's like a signature or something. These are pointers. Oh man, I wish I knew how to use Gidra. No. 
That's code. Not code. Oh, maybe it's just different code. Oh, I wish I knew how to use git draw. Disassemble arm. Mm, there we go. Okay. Copy PC to R4. Does that seem plausible? At least their pointers are kind of in the right area. Copy secure OS binary. Here, how big is it? This is the size. So random crap there. That doesn't really make sense. Okay, these also, no, that's not. Okay, here we go. Actually, let me, I should do it. Um, actually, let me just do, we know it's that, so we can do that. And we make this larger. And let's make sure these things line up. I love that we have this fast workflow and we can actually just do it like this and not have to like wait a minute and like write helper scripts in Python and shit. Okay, so according to this, 269.60 should be that. 269.60 is, yeah, C5 DB bullshit. Okay, good. Um, but it's not until we get to here that we find jumps. Um, this is good. Okay, we just disassemble arm. F11, do I even have it? That's not F11. That's F12, but F11 does something else. Oh, who made these clear? No, if I disassemble it, for some reason it defaults to fucking thumb. I'm sorry I can't use Gidra. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, so these are like the PSP functions. That looks like a function. Oh, those look like, these look like interrupt handlers. Some looks like something. TLB, blah, 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 blah. Looks like an IRQ handler, right? That's actual valid ARM code. Uh, Is there good, are there good pirated Ida's? I actually bought Ida once, guys. All right, provide it to the bootloader. So like, try MC address. Darn you, just, 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 why is that a variable? Why didn't you just, Put that. Uh, 
Yeah, oh, here we load the SOS driver, we load the sys driver. Ooh, debug driver. I don't even care about the PSP, man. Like, I wouldn't waste time with the PSP if I didn't even think that I needed to do the PSP to get the other things. Right. This isn't the firmware I want to change. Oh, there are a bunch of North Korean items with malware? <laughs> Good, uh, good looking out. Now, fail overflows, Radeon tools looks too old. Also, I mean, the PSP is definitely on. Okay, so like, oh, let's override something useless. We know that like that number might matter. We know that like this number doesn't. Forty. We might make the PSP more than uh, forty. What's that? Hex twenty-eight. God, hex a floating point number. Mm, let's try it down here. Who thinks it loads? Okay, it loads fine there. Let's do some timing on this. Make more wheat. So we might have to, it might be this wait for Handshake issue with hardware that needs to lie out. I wish they gave these registers names and didn't just call them 81. So all right, for, for those who are who are catching up, um well the process that is secured for security is more secure. I mean it's not the point. So the PSP is not just a security process. The PSP is responsible for loading all the other firmwares, like you can see here. So notice how this make more elite is happening uh, almost 100 milliseconds later. Um, so let's move this after the M delay, but before the wait for. If there's going to be like talk to things, it's there. It's probably smart. I mean, this, this probably doesn't work. Okay, well, that surprisingly worked. Uh, let's get rid of this. Let's move that. So like eventually when I put it before the move to secure, That causes an issue again. Unfortunately, I think we have to reboot to get out of this. Uh, yeah. There might be handshake issue with the hardware that needs uh, delay. So probably what we wanna do is try to find this bootloader. Um, it's possible that these registers don't actually do anything. And it, let's, I mean, we comment this out. I think it breaks again. I think like once the PSP doesn't load correctly once, we have to reboot the computer. Yeah, so we're back to this. Um, you know, the best way to really understand the system is to try to break it. Load SOS fail. That thing we got last time. One more time. Glossary of terms, CPU. Watch out, AMD makes CPUs that all have the same crap too. P 
PSP load KDB fails. So it's interesting that what's failing now is not this. Bootloader load KDB. Um, okay, let's reboot and let's take a slightly different tact. Let's see if we can bypass the PSP for loading the other firmwares because that's all we really care about. Um, let me find... we do while we wait So like I said, it's not really a question of what's more secured. It's a question of like what the boot chain looks like. And if you attack lower in the boot chain, it's usually easier. Not always true. I mean, we could probably find the signature checking stuff in here if we look hard enough. This one at least has a few strings. Um, and we can look at what the signature checking looks like, but yeah, usually what I find with these things is like trying to attack the signature check is not a smart way to go. What you want to do is just look for uh, top tail is usually pretty good. Like the trick is to modify it in a way that the, the system doesn't expect. So the proper way to write this is to mem copy it once into secure memory and do all the checking there. And it's possible the bootloader does that. So maybe what we want to look for now is to see if we can find out uh, what the uh, bootloader is. Um, also, another interesting thing is they say they have one megabyte for this. What is that one megabyte? Is that one megabyte SRAM on the GPU? Are they wasting a whole megabyte? I, mean, I guess a meg of SRAM is not that much. Um, I've looked into this stuff on, on Qualcomm processors. You know this thing called the XBL SEC? And then they run all these trust zone things in DDR. But, you know, <laughs> uh, they run all these trust zone things. Let's give the computer a minute and then we might actually have to reboot it. Um, and they run all these trust zone things in DDR. And they have this thing called, I think, called PyMem. They like encrypt a certain bit of memory, but it's not just encrypted. It's, it's, it's clever. I don't know how Qualcomm ends up with such good hardware when like their salespeople and leadership seem incompetent. I totally understand how NVIDIA ends up with good hardware. <laughs> you just see how excited Jensen gets by the good hardware. Um, we'll hard reboot. It's a little annoying that every time. Um, so probably what we want to do, maybe we can find like a reset. Maybe we can find like an actual hard reset that we're just not triggering. Um, you know, some you can just get these things into bad states. They don't expect the uh, the PSP firmware to be made more lead. 
And we're also just like blindly doing stuff right now. We, we have to have a better understanding of exactly what it is we want to do. Uh, so, you know, this is, this is hacking. Now we spend a lot of time documenting. Okay, so we found all the things that are loading the firmwares. Right? We can start documenting what each one of those firmwares is. Um, and then there's a lot you can do without even modifying the firmware, right? So like, do we have to submit command queues to the MES or can we go to the, can we go to the CP, right? Do we still have the API of the CP? Um, what resources are these things allocating, right? A ton of this is just a documentation process, right? Now again, wouldn't it be nice if AMD just released some documentation? Like, look, you know my deal. Is all the firmware gonna be released and buildable by Monday? No, but if you release some serious documentation on what this shit is, uh, you know, start with one firmware. Like, show me something, because right so far you've shown me nothing. It's been nine months of platitudes and bullshit and a broken GPU. And you know, we can't do nine more months of platitude and bullshit, some broken GPUs. I can't ship these to people. AMD Roast is the title. We're finding exploits. <laughs> um, wait, why is my computer not booting anymore? Guys, we broke it forever. It's never coming back. Okay, no more, no more making the PSP more lean. I regret doing it. Guys, we've tripped the, we've tripped the, we've tripped Samsung's Knox. They license Samsung's Knox technology. <laughs> the Intel Arcs docs are great. They are, no, they are marginal. I would not say the Intel Arc docs are great. There's definitely a lot of them. They're very comprehensive. They do document a lot of stuff that, that AMD just doesn't. Um, Intel also has binary blob firmwares all over the place. Wait, so why isn't this booting? Like what's going on? What are you doing that's not booting right now? What are you doing that's not booting right now? If we ask this computer what it's doing that's not booting, we, we gotta do a lot more reading and documenting before we just try things again. I know trying things is exciting for stream, but we're actually just reading and documenting. All right, let's leave the computer off for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 1. Find more reading to do on AMD GPU. Oh, so here's that firmware load type shit. They had a secret. Oh, we should try the firmware load type. This is an old version of Linux kernel. There we go. Ooh, ooh, this is nice. Sweet, we'll get this back. Okay. Uh, we didn't we, we took out our making the thing more lead, right? I don't even really get on here too. We gotta improve our. Okay, we're not making anything more late anymore. The leetness is canceled. Uh, why does this one not reconnect? That's annoying. Close that. New window. That. Okay, no more. No more. We're not rebooting again.
That's pretty good. We can we can comment out ghetto hex dump. We have a lot of just normal reading to do. Let's understand what this stuff is. Okay. Oh, include ASIC reg. Uh, well, it's probably not even that one. It might even be this one. Yeah. Which MP do we have? What's an MP? Do we have an MP? Don't know. CMP message. So this is probably like some like yeah, bootloader crap. KDB binary. What's a KDB? Let's try, okay, we commented that out. Let me try the flag. Um, AMD GPU module flags, module parameters. Uh, where's that one? This is the one that talks about using a PSP. Load here, firmware load type said something exciting about a backdoor. Um, let's work direct loading. Default loading mode for the ASIC. Firmware.load type. Didn't like, yeah, I thought, I thought, RLC backdoor auto load. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know, you want to try two? Uh, it's still called the same. It's still called the same load IP firmware. Try direct loading by the ASIC. That one didn't work last time. Yeah, we got this. Direct loading by the ASIC doesn't work. Whatever. But we don't break the computer when we do that one. That's the most important thing. By the way, I think that the firmware stays, the firmware unloads itself. So if we do, I mean, this is at least true for NVIDIA. If I do that, yeah, so it has to reload all the firmwares. It reloads the firmwares every time you, um... wow, it even reloads the PSP. PSP is presuming, the shit is just like NVIDIA's. And KDB sure sounds like kernel debugger, right? Um, so this stuff's fun too. Like what's the PSP TMR? Um, ooh, backdoor firmware loading path for PSP TMR. Reserve TMR memory, which holds 
IP discovery data and is protected by PSP. What is IP discovery data? TMR equals trusted memory region. Okay. Let's add that to my um, things like that are usually great things to attack. Because it's in I mean it's in the DRAM of the GPU. So like it depends. Like, you can do a good job with your memory controller, and it can be fine. But I don't know. What happens if you DMA to it, right? What happens if you try to access it over the PCIe bus? Eh, all those things get interesting. So, it'd be kind of nice to know which of these, uh, I could turn that into a string and have it print the name of the firmware. Is there anything that will do this for me? Oh, I mean, this is cool at least. At least we can like see what's going on here, okay. So it loads the two SDMAs, it loads the PFP, it loads the ME, it loads the MEC, it loads the PFP stack P1. actually get this from like the disk or something. Firmware type. GPU virtual address firmware location. I mean that's kind of interesting. I'm gonna print that. PSP is a Cortex A5. Yeah, that sounds right. Okay, cool. So these are the addresses. Firmware five command high. I'm just gonna switch the size to hex. Again, I love that this is fast and I can just do that. And I'm also gonna write 8.8 here. Actually, I can just write 0, 0.8. them 44 there okay so you can like see what like kind of hands um i mean how much ram is this Let's see if it can reasonably be sram i mean it's 
Probably. Oh. You know, it might not be SRAM. This might be in the DRAM of the GPU. Yeah, that's not SRAM. That's 222 megs. 212 megs. I don't know why that's less. <laughs> but okay. So it looks like where these things are actually being loaded is in the TMR. Um, so yeah, probably the way to, we have to figure out how to disable, like th this will also just, just help us a lot. If we could just figure out how to disable the TMR in general. Like disable the trusted memory region such that we can, uh, we can look into it. Oh, this is cool. So this, this is showing me all the addresses here. Um, we should also have, if we do an LSPCI, uh, let me just find out which device it is. Oh, let's fix it. Update PCI IDs. Love it. See, now it has, now it says Radeon. Yeah, no, it's pronounced Radeon. Well, it's also Mario, so there's that. Wait, what? Is that an invalid device ID? Be a valid device ID. So uh, this is because we have large bar support. So it's important to have large bar. You want your bar to be big. Uh, so that's like mapped into, this is just mapped into like my host memory. I can just like, like read and write to dev mem right there. Uh, and that shit works. Like, I'm gonna guess that they did a better job on the TMR. Um, I spent weekends last summer trying to get my 6800 XT to be useful for machine learning and regret it. Got everything working short of training runs where it fell apart. I bought a 4090 and should have done so sooner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and it's not gonna get better. It's really not. Patch and cross, buy, if you want to do machine learning, buy an AMD GPU. I'm sorry, buy an NVIDIA GPU. I keep getting the names mixed up, just buy an NVIDIA GPU. If you want to, if you enjoy messing with broken firmware and working around bugs, consider AMD GPUs. Uh, also don't, like, like, talking to AMD is a mistake. I'm never talking to AMD again. I would appreciate it if they released some docs and some, some source code. But like, like it was a huge waste of time. You just kept thinking like, like I would think, oh, well, you know, I'll follow, follow, right, we'll get the new driver and the new driver doesn't work. So considering Intel, we're not talking to Intel either. Guy came into Discord, he's talking like a business development jerk off. Like, oh, well let's set up a meeting. Why don't you set up a, I don't set up, what? What are we gonna discuss? I said the only thing I care about is if you wanna give me a good bulk price on A770s. And he's like, well, I can't make any promises. Well, the, the, what, what good is this? You know, should we just have a rule of no business development people in the Discord? Like, oh God. I learned more in these eight hours than I did, you know, in the last, yeah, don't like like like. Uh, you know what we know about the cars. We're gonna. This is this is the part of the stream where we shield for comma. Two hundred and fifty plus cars are supported by OpenPilot. Right? And this is this is no small feat. 
We've we've built. We've gotten ADOS interfaces for each one of these cars. Doesn't support LADA? We will. How long before we support LADA? Like, all reverse engineered, and we probably understand more about these APIs than the manufacturers. I'll tell you why. The manufacturers couldn't dream of having the data access we have. When we want to see if a CAN message is ever sent in a certain way, I have, I have thousands of hours of CAN data. I just look. What's the strat for when the car manufacturers try to up their security? Ugh. Um. Yeah, if you didn't read it, this guy's an ex-comma employee. Um. <laughs> Like again, what we asked for, what we asked for from, from comma users is if you care enough about this, give us $50,000 and we'll break it. Like this stuff's all easy to break. The manufacturers should just stop. Like this isn't, this isn't adding any security. I'm sure it's adding tons of complexities to their internal workflow. They're not going to lock us out. Like the really, I can't believe that's one of the pieces of fud I see all the time in the uh, in the forums about comma. The car manufacturers are gonna lock them out. Really, bro? The car manufacturers. Uh, Apple and Sony, with 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 you know huge security budgets, uh, couldn't do it. But the car manufacturers are gonna do it. The consumers are making their cars better. Shut it down. Um, no, we don't. I mean, yeah, you know, we, we learned early on, don't engage with the car manufacturers. Uh, I mean, look, I'm happy to, by the way, I offer a service now. I do it personally. 30-minute uh, consulting phone calls. And the minute you get into anything personal or life advice, I just hang off and keep your $1,000. But, um, yeah, comma sells phone calls, too. I got sick of doing the comma phone calls. They're just so bad. Um... All right, just want to document the only thing I want to go through and document this. Wouldn't it be nice if there were like some like documents that explained all this stuff about the GPU? So we didn't have to waste time figuring it all out. Who calls for life advice? Way too many people, way too many people. That's why the, that's why the comma phone call no longer says it's me. Um, you'd be surprised. You'd actually be surprised who has a thousand dollars and calls for like, they're like, they, or they ask personal questions. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> um, I'll answer personal questions, but that's the 10K tier, okay? <laughs> you want to pay me 10K? Whatever you want, man. <laughs> uh, all right. It's five o'clock. Uh, let's push this. Do we feel like we understand AMD's firmware better? Do we feel like we understand the CP now? Is the PFP, the ME, the CE, and the MAC? They're, they're in God knows what uh, code, except for the PSP, this one's ARM. Chances you get another stream. I might do this again Saturday. Do we really need to break the PSP to figure out the mech calls? Uh, well, if we break the PSP, we can, uh, it's not that we're trying to figure out the mech calls, it's that we're trying to like figure out how we can, how we can change uh, what these things are doing. There's probably the PSP is probably not the right way to go about this. Actually, um, we'd have to have a better understanding of what the uh, like security model of this thing looks like. Um, are there are there separate tiers 
of security, or if we get one of these pieces of firmware, we get them all. Uh, like, is there any is there any memory protection inside the uh, inside the PSP TMR, or if we can figure out how to you know just get any one of these? Um, often, what you can do too is these registers are often externally accessible. Um, so it's also interesting that no, it reloads the PSP every time, which is kind of annoying. But you might be able to just like, so what you can probably do, um, I don't know if the PSP itself lives in this, probably not. I, I bet the PSP is like a higher, is like a higher privilege level. Um, again, we don't really care about the PSP. We care about figuring out what these things are doing and figuring out if we can, actually ideally what I wanna do is turn them off. Um, Probably a lot of these firmwares, like the MES, we don't really need. Um, they do this stuff, so they talked about the reason they introduced the MES. The MES was introduced to deal with these complex DirectX things, but like, we don't really care about that. We can't do it all from user space, but like, we control the entire application and we don't have to support like an external spec. Um, you see exactly one function call from AMD GPU MES, but that doesn't even say anything. It's actually all, <laughs> we, we don't even know. We'd have, to, we'd have to start to figure out like, okay, let's actually, be, let's take a look inside a uh, syskernel uh, debug. Interesting, right? Like, can I dump this. Yeah, like this is straight up SDMA one. Oh, where's that firmware attestation? Maybe you try to cat that, you get invalid argument. Oh, look at this. Showing you where all the doorbells are and stuff. What's in regs? Um, so it's also interesting that these aren't. Uh, SMU is not done with my previous command. Well, don't try to dump the regs. Because now the SMU is not done with my previous command. So, you know, you know what's like, again, again, frustrating. I don't know if I just wasn't talking to the right people. I didn't even think about it. Like, I guess you get stupid when you think you have someone to talk to. Like, if you want to look for the state of the GPU, most of the state of the GPU is exposed here. Right, we can just figure out how to deal with it. So, it's so, like... Back in Polaris, you used to be able to download the firmware and modify it. Then in Vega, they added signed firmware. PSP came with RDNA 1, and tools like more power tools stopped working. You just leaked the firmware from the internal GitHub. Don't do that. Um, again, that, I mean, it's not, it's, not a, it's not illegal for me to use it, but it's against your contract to do that. Uh, do not, I do not want any internal documents leaked um, in general. Right? I'm not, I'm not, you know, 
Um, I'm not interested in that. Uh, if they want to release the documents, they, they, they should. If they don't want to release the documents, like that's on them. Um, leaking is not the right way to do it. I don't want an open line of communication. I want docs, right? By the way, let's point out the difference. Tenth Torrent had two people in this chat who were very helpful in answering my questions. Redis is closed source now. Don't don't give me this shit. Um, uh, yeah, no, I mean that that I would always appreciate. I would always appreciate it if someone wants to if someone wants to come into the Discord and and come into the Twitch chat and tell me stuff about the GPUs. I don't want to schedule a Microsoft Teams call tomorrow. No, I don't. Like, stop wasting my time with that shit. Reddit's, Redis is actually closed source. After giving my example of how Redis is... I don't even know. Oh, this is just trying to fuck cloud people. It's stupid. Yeah, forks incoming. Great, great. I don't know. I don't know who runs Redis. We're not going to judge. I mean, what the cloud people do is scummy. Yeah, they removed thanks and replaced it with some... SMU debug. See, that's interesting. Reset do. You probably have to reboot again. The SMU is not done, guys. The SMU is still working. Kernel null pointer D records. Where's our docs? What's the SMU again? The system management unit. What do we got in the SMU firmware? Anything interesting? Was it ARM or anything? That's just a lot of zeros. Let's look at the one that we actually know is ARM and see what it looks like.
Oh, I can enable the SMU debug option. It actually looks like real arm. You see the difference? Actually, yeah, I, mean, I guess that kind of looks like arm. I don't know. Um, we can have to reboot again. We have to reboot again. I'm terribly sorry. Let's just push more notes before we. So it's a good time to take a break. We're, we're going to keep going with this. Um, we, you know, you know, uh, Tiny Grad, uh, Quasilin from Tiny Grad wrote an RDNA three um, emulator. Like we can use it to test their compiler. We can do it all in GitHub CI. Do, do they understand how nice our shit would be? Oh yeah, then I did commit A. Yeah, it's funny, you know, right? Uh, all right, let's turn it off. It makes SMU errors fatal. Oh. There are some docs and AMD leaks from Tor, but they're NDA. Yeah, again, we're not interested in leaks. Um... I wrote the Python one, I think. <laughs> um, no, come on. No, no conspiracy theories about Jensen and, and Lisa. AMD firmware has sucked long before uh, Lisa Sue's been CEO, right? It's just like... I mean, like, you see why it sucks, right? NVIDIA basically, from what I understand, has like one thing, and it's called the GSP. Uh, oh no, it's not a Python emulator. No, 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 no. We have a we have an Ops Python. Um, full descriptions of registers, but yeah, NDA stuff's bad. Yeah. Uh, well, they like don't work for gaming. They work for certain AAA games that are carefully tested. I've heard I've heard that AMD has some serious problems with management. Um, again, I, I'm not gonna diagnose the company and say what's dysfunctional. Uh, but all I know is I don't want to talk to them anymore. And I regret talking to them. Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Give me a uh, give me ten minutes.
We back. You guys know a NVIDIA, so the um, 7900 XTX, I mean, now that I'm not selling them, I'm happy to tell you this. I wasn't going to say this when I was marketing tiny boxes. The 7900 XTX has 123 teraflops of FP16 compute. The 4090 appears to have 165, right? So you think it's a little bit more. No, the 4090 is disabled in software to not let you get 330, which is what the card is capable of. A 4090 is actually 3x more capable than a 7900 XTX. Um, of course, the software limits it to uh, 165. Uh, that's a fun one. The software also disables peer-to-peer -peer support this just says NVIDIA is so far ahead, they can charge more and disable major features on their GPU. Half the, half the AI training performance. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, you can totally, yeah, yeah, if you buy an RTX 6080, of course it supports these things. I'm not gonna reverse engine, look, we're not doing AMD, we're not doing Intel, uh, NVIDIA's. Um, I mean, it's shitty, but again, the way that you fix that, by the way, the way that you fix NVIDIA nerfing the firmware is not through reverse engineering. Uh, and this is something I've learned as I got older, right? Like if you try to, if you try to fix it by reverse engineering, uh, it's you, you like, you lose. Cause even if you do it, what you're really doing is helping NVIDIA. You're helping NVIDIA for using a bad a business tactic that punishes you. What you want to do is commoditize a compliment. You want to figure out how to force, you want to use, you want to shape market forces such that NVIDIA can no longer do this, right? And this is the truth about jailbreaking too. Um, the right thing was never to try to break Apple's walled garden. Uh, actually, the government's not a bad way to do it, but the much better thing to do would be to make Android better. Um, all right. Let's get to work. Did my computer come back? Yay, it's back. Is it going to reconnect? Reconnect? Mm, all right. Where are you on these notes? We have the system management user and user dance, blah, 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 for this one. CMN to ASIC? Mode one resets and mode two resets. We have a whole bunch of clocks. I mean, th this gets fun too. You could figure out how to actually get good power efficiency out of these things. So consumer GPUs are tuned for benchmarks. Uh, they're not tuned for AI training. Uh, you want to know what your chip can sustainably do, not what your chip can do while you're running, you know, whatever 3D mark perf. I mean, NVIDIA may have some, look, shitty business practices. It's NVIDIA's right, right? The, the shitty business practices involve like, I think that what they did with the CUDA data center thing, again, I think that people went way too far with that. Uh, I think that what people like, 
NVIDIA is never going to sue you because of that. And I will eat my words if they sue me. If they sue me because of that, they really are Sony tier shit. Uh, not that I'm even doing it, but like if they sue somebody because of that, then they're Sony tier. Um, but I, I don't think they actually did that to sue people. I think they did that to target large cloud providers, which again, yeah, large cloud providers, no 49, 4090s for you. And again, I don't even think NVIDIA would sue. I think NVIDIA would just not sell them the next chip. Which, again, these things are really their right. Um, e even more so than like, like I, I think what Apple's doing with the iPhone is, is much more bad and monopolistic. Apple's locking you into an ecosystem. And NVIDIA's not. Th th there's nothing about NVIDIA that looks like lock-in. You just genuinely use NVIDIA because they're the best. And NVIDIA knows this too. NVIDIA knows that the minute someone beats them, everyone will move their ML workload. They've done nothing at all that looks like lock-in. Cuda's not lock-in, right? Like, having good firmware is not lock-in. And then, being so far ahead that you can intentionally cripple your flagship GPU? Like, that's not bad business practice. That's just domination. And all you can do is respect that. There's nothing wrong with doing that. And again, the way that you fix that is not jailbreaking or, or, or firmware exploits. The way that you fix that is through market pressure. It's not, NVIDIA is not doing anything anti-competitive to keep others down. Like AMD could be good. It's not like NVIDIA is making their software shit. <laughs> People switched off AMD servers pretty fast. I mean, the Xeon Ws, they don't have enough PCIe lanes. When, when, I don't know. People switched very fast when Epic came out. At least that's what I remember. Um, yeah, I mean, the ecosystem is baked in. And again, this is kind of our goal at TinyGrad. We are trying to... Um, we're trying to commoditize the pay to flop. Oh, well, 10% market share, you mean new servers or 10% market share of rentable cloud? I mean, obviously that's gonna lag. But I think people switched pretty quickly for their new machines, at least that's what I remember. They might have also been locked into contracts for older stuff, right? I don't know. I don't know. I've never been a large cloud provider before. I don't really know what their contracts look like to buy CPUs. All right, we're just flailing. Um, let's stop flailing. Let's go back to trying to. Let's submit one queue. Let's let's go back in here and let's ring the doorbell and submit a queue and let's see what's going on here. We also have, we didn't re-enable the debug here, that's. One of the actual arguments does not meet a precondition. Let's figure out where this error is coming from. That seems like a, that seems like a good, uh, a good task. So this is a lot of like what these things are. You figure out like, okay, Something is generating this HSA status error and valid argument. Let's figure out where it's happening. So I'm creating a queue, or you know what? Maybe the first thing to do is actually to create a legitimate, uh, we have all that stuff to do it, so let's just make a, I guess it'd be this kernel object isn't correct. It's a kernel object. <coughs> prog handle. Uh, how do I get a prog? 
and should be here, right? Yeah, here it is. So here, I'll show you how to use some tiny bit infrastructure. Um, um, tiny grab, runtime, ops, HSA, import, HSA program, HSA compiler. Let's create a compiler with an arch string of uh, GFX that dot compile. Can I just do something like this? I don't know. It works quickly. Yeah, it looks like it compiles. Um, so we'll just say lib equals that. We can hex dump lib. Should be an L. Stomp. You gotta get install hex stomp. Alright, good. It's an elf. Uh, now we can create an HSA. Oh, but that's gonna be on a different device. We actually can't do that, I don't think. Uh, oh, it's kind of annoying. Or maybe there's actually nothing to it. Okay, hang on. Let's just try it. HSA program. We have to pass in a device here, though. Is the device used? Executable load agent. Oh, okay. It's a lot of stuff that we have to do. Inactivated due to async error. Wow, it's actually calling update queue. Do we have to call update queue? Mm, I don't know. Um, ding dong. Where is it ding dong? No, oh, ding dong is, and then it calls update queue. Which of these calls update queue? I have a lot of questions about that. It has to call update queue. Oh yeah, who have an ATI all in wonder card. We probably shouldn't be calling that actually. Doorbell control. We gotta get to the. Oh. AMD, just release docs. Dump your dump your seventy nine hundred XDX docs. That's a good start, right? I remember I only used AMD with a thirty percent discount. I rage quit. Returned my. Uh, it's gonna be sad. It's gonna. What should we live stream the dismantling of all the AMD tiny boxes?
So where is this QR crap? Started evicting pass ID. Let's take a look in here and see what's going on. It's in KFD process, evict process worker. Hmm, huh. that's a little bit interesting. Oh, wow, wait, 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 this is the CP. We know about the CP. Is this in the mess? that with a space. Where's the print for that? Here it is. Oh, it's in restoring the MQD. The hell's an MQD? Oh, well, we have an M manager of MQDs. <laughs> I'm going to rip this all out. I just want to rip this all out. I just wanna, I just wanna, like, I'm gonna write a drive, I'm gonna run around a kernel driver for this shit. I want it to be 200, 200 lines. 200 lines. The kernel drivers count as lines. Tiny boxes are only in video. <laughs> the AMD ones are getting taken apart. Again, we can get to the, we can get to the end of all of this. Okay, so here we are knitting the MQD. And then I have an idea that all you do, well, let's look at update MQD and see what it does. Oh. Um, update coo mask. Calculating Q size. What is this shit? Update coo mask. Do I update the coo mask? Don't update the coo mask. Um, oh, MQD equals memory Q descriptor. Thank you. How did you, where'd you find that? Citation, please, sir. Hmm, glossary. I think I already have this one probably, but. Okay, let's read about memory Q descriptors. What's the PFP? We don't know about that. What about the PSP? What's the ME? We don't know about that. What's the CE? We don't know about that. We do know about the MEC, and that's the micro engine compute. That's a memory queue descriptor. which is used by the hardware to keep the user mode queue state in memory. But is it actually used by the hardware or is it used by the CP? Those are the questions. Doorbell control. What is this? Is this a real? So this is probably just some shit that goes, this is like how it communicates with the CP firmware. Uh, the 4090 is, no, it's not even the driver of the firmware. As far as I can tell, it's an e-fuse that's blown on the chip. So there's two variants. Like it's the same, it's the 4090 uses, um, it's a uh, G, uh, GA102. There's a GA102 used on RTX 6000 ADA. There's also a 8102 used on the 4090, but there's these things in chips called e-fuses and you can burn them to uh, like disable or enable certain, yeah. And you can't, you can't unburn an e-fuse. Do we have more stuff? We don't have any CEs. We don't have any MEs. And we don't have any PFPs. Oh, wow. 
Wait, oh, I didn't know about this. Is it, we could set the reset method. This might have actually fixed some of those errors we were having. If we use like a more aggressive reset method. You think I can disable the MES? I think that works. There's no way this works. Yes, I don't know. Mm, I still see MES. Is there more MES if I enable the MES? No, I think that just does nothing. It is also possible that it's fused because there's something wrong with the chips. Like not all the chips are performant enough, but I doubt it. What is this crap? It's in GFX. I should just have that in my in my driver here. They have some docs in there that tell you stuff. Oh, the drawing engine. The GFX CP consists of three micro engines. Oh. They only tell you that here. Interesting. Okay, so the command processor has a prefetch processor and a micro engine. Yeah, this is the stuff we need. Oh, this is where all the oh, this is where all the bugs are. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 this is the shit I want. This is the firmware I want. Well, I didn't know it went all the way back to, it's not even the NES, it's this junk. Each mech supports four command pipes. Oh, finally, we found some Good find. PFP PFP plus ME equals drawing engine. P, M, E, there isn't actually a C, E. There's only one mech and there's a whole bunch of, the C, E might be gone. I don't get the problem to use Rock M and Hip, bro. We ditched Rock M and Hip months ago.
That shit really doesn't work. Yes, like Torch Cargo, not Cargo Cult. Cargo Cult Hipgraph. Oh, you used a Basil tool chain, eh? Alright, um. KGD engine type. Oh, wait, I also don't know where the SDMAs are. SDMAs are their own thing. Even though they're here as engines. Okay, so it turns out the I don't actually care about the MES. I kind of got duped. AMD said they were going to open source the MES, but what the hell is the MES? I don't even care about the MES. Like, now there's an MES in here. But, like, what about the, what about the prefetch parser? Can I have a prefetch parser? Like, this is what's actually doing all the gpu -ing. This is just a whole lot of bullshit. RockM is just something AMD has to tell investors they're on equal footing. Yes. Yes. They literally just took all the CUDA APIs and were like, implement the shittiest knockoff of this you can. <laughs> and that's how you get hip. <laughs> um, Mech is micro engine compute. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or compute micro engine. I mean, let's, let's just... For, 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 uh, yeah, there's mech one and there's mech two. That GFX07 is the best one. Each mech supports four compute pipes, and each pipe supports eight cubes. The cubes used to be exposed to user space and programmed directly by the compute runtime, but not anymore. Okay, private Cerulean, no. I know it works, but it doesn't work. It works like, 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 like this is this is the the the. Oh, I ran it and it worked. They need two engines because neither one runs reliable. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. I'm sure GFX seven was very reliable. They really went off the rails at GFX ten. <laughs> right, let's look into these mechs. Let's see what do we know about mechs. All right, all right, all right, all right, good, good, good. We got pipes. We got pipes. CP compute mech pipe. If you run the out of the box demo, they spent months <laughs> an out of the box example project is a month prepping for the demo. It works perfectly. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the whole problem. Like, like you need to think differently. You need like fuzz testing and you know. And, and that's why this is so hard. That's why this is so like. That's why it's so hard to, to make this decision. That's why it's been frustrating. Like. I want to like fix all this, right? Let's rip away the HSA queue, right? Let's get to those. Let's get to those four engines that are actually on the hardware, right? Let's get to those four queues. I don't want something else copying my queues to more queues, right? I just want one. I want to see the real queue that's on the real shit. And then how much transforming is like? Maybe it's maybe the the mech used to be a thing, but now they have the virtual mech for backwards compatibility purposes. And that's why the in-order queues are stalling the, come on, like. <sighs> Docs, firmware. And if you're worried about people exploiting it, I will find an exploit. But that's the thing. You can't like make deals with companies because there's nobody there. Right? There's this, it's, it's like, it's not like you can say like, well, you know, okay, uh, you know, well, that actually also kind of sounds like blackmail, but like, um, no, I'm just saying like, it's, it's, 
your shit's not secure, right? I promise you, if some nation state wants to exploit this, they already have. All right. Private Ceruleum, do you work for Rockam or something? <laughs> Would you bet your life on Rockam running stably for seven hours? If I put Rockam in a loop and said you die if it crashes. Would you would you bet your life on that? Alright, you're about to get banned, bro. <laughs> this guy's betting his life on the micro engine compute not stalling the queue. <laughs> Very stable. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Crypto miner is running the same thing over and over and over again in a very static way. Um Okay, let's focus here. Um, all right. So this is the main this is the main file here that we care about. GFX v11. We have PFP, ME, MEC, RLC. Oh, which may not actually not. We we don't know if the MES is a part of the CP. I think the MES is separate from the CP. We definitely do have, yeah, the MES doesn't seem like it's part of the CP. In fact, the RLC looks more like the, I'm glad they work for you, private. How about this? I'm not actually legally allowed to take your life, but I would be willing to make a $10,000 wager that I can crash your GPUs by running normal tiny grad stuff. I don't know about your crypto miner. Your crypto miner might run for seven hours. I mean, you're sure I'd be able to crash it exactly. Now, I would take the other side of that bet on NVIDIA. I'll give you a computer with four 4090s. You can do anything you want in TinyGrad. Do you think you can crash it? Wait, when you say you can crash Triton on NVIDIA, are you saying you can crash the user space program or are you saying that in DMessage, the NVIDIA GPU says, says, uh, says uh, I'm broken? It's easy to crash the user space. I'm saying that do you think you can break like the firmware? Do you think you get the equivalent of MES errors on, on NVIDIA with something you did in Triton? I don't think I've ever seen that in my life. The only bugs I've ever seen with NVIDIA were bugs with GPUs falling off the bus. And I have an idea that's due to PCIe instability. Yeah, and then, and then figure out how to panic the kernel. You get PTX errors in like user space because yeah, yeah because you have your red Triton code. <laughs> Like, like Triton works and it's well understood. Yeah, uh, we're not talking about PTX errors here. We're talking about the GPU breaks.
So here's another question. Let's look at the list of registers here. Um, include ASIC reg. It's interesting that they have this. So if I look in the ASIC reg and I look at like, no, not that SDMA. Where's the one that's actually like, let's find the GC here. Here. So, well, first off, why are some of these, oh, I guess they're not all addresses. I mean, this is cool. They have all this. Can I just disable the firmware and use this directly? Like what I want from what I want from a AMD. Can someone confirm inside? I don't think this is like. Can they confirm if this exists? Are there docs that explain what all these registers do? That's mostly what I want. Like docs that explain what what is what is the the SDMA U code checksum register. What is the SDMA Q2 preempt register? I mean, I'm sure they exist. They might not be able to legally post what their registers do and their shit. Why not? I don't believe that. And like legally able to or they're worried about patent trolls. I don't understand also like. Like, okay, so like reg CP mess doorbell control. Aggregated doorbell. Yeah, I mean, this stuff, this stuff sucks. Why do I enable this DRM debug? So what all the MES like look at all these MES messages. We have them, they're all documented. <coughs> MES miss. What's misc? We're adding a lot of cues and removing a lot of cues, I say. Read reg, write reg. Oh! Wait, is that just a vulnerability right there? What if I just read a register? And I mean, what if I write a register and my register is actually the, uh, can I just read the code of the MS?
they're firing threes. What are threes? Zero, one, two, three, WRM weight, WR weight. Uh, I mean, that's just the same sort of crap. Uh, it's all threes. Okay, it's this one. Registers might not, they might not actually be. SOS meaning secure operating system. Oh. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Let's have a ransomware brick CPUs. Dude, uh, you know, you know, you want to talk about a scummy business practice? The locking of the, um, the locking of the, uh, you, you, there's epic CPUs that are on eBay that are just useless and junk because they're locked to Dell and Lenovo. Bros, you want to write, you want to write malware? You want to write malware and brick? You want to brick millions of AMD CPUs? Just, just for the lulls, man. Zero, one, two, three. That's what you get for making your shit brickable. Wait. Now oh, here we go. Um. All right, so like it like writes registers kind of. I don't know what a WRM misc RM weight is. Oh, it's writing GP6 low in the mech. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, so like you can probably write them all like there's tons of exploits here just gotta find them oh what was the last abbreviation KDB There's a there's talk about the 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 PSP's KDB. Um, there's also wait there's also a TA. There's a file called TA, and then here and then there's stuff that talks about the KDB. Uh, yeah, Nurse, congratulations. I'm gonna I'm gonna make you a VIP. Uh, been very very high signal. So we're writing to those registers for some reason. And then sometime we also add queues and remove queues from the MES. Using BACO. What's BACO? We have another acronym. RenPM BACO. Oh. <laughs> you want a boco or you want a backo? <laughs> Smoking some backo. Uh, main function load for KMS. I assume PM is power management. DCS pre-computer is not needed.
low to autism spectrum disorder. Backup, bus active, chip off. Oh, okay, so that's just like going to sleep mode and stuff. The firm due to CFC state central management. <coughs> Loading sequence will be updated as below. IP versions. Okay, so this is in the PSP. So which IP version is our PSP? Yeah, it is one of these. 1311. Okay, so we're doing centralized C state management. Um, all right, well, so like you, we can see this stuff here. We load the TMR, load other non PSP firmware, we load the ASD down here, and then, oh, we load some TAs. Oh, these TAs, I see. Yeah, that's a good comment. Um, cool. What's a load TA? Command buffer IDs for the ring buffer interface. So, okay, uh, T is trusted execution environment. That's a normal acronym. Um, load TA, unload TA. So I think those are like yeah, like trust things. Uh, HTCP, DTM, wrap, secure display. I don't think we really care about these things. See, like that's that's another shitty thing. Like, you know, I, I even told the AMD people, like, I don't care about your your uh you know your your TA, like I don't care about your XGMI HTCP crap. I don't care. I just wanna like like just I'll disable that. I don't want to load that. I don't need that. Um, but yeah, no. I, I mean, I, I realize like what they, what they said they were gonna do is like it's useless. The MES is not is not like any of this stuff. I need documentation on how to actually drive the GPU. Yeah, TS trusted application. Cool. That makes sense.
You know what? Yeah. I, I don't care. Uh, I don't care if the signing's removed. I, I'm confident that without the uh, removal of the signing, Oh. I don't know if it's still valid. Why does SDMA have its own firmware? Why can't SDMA just be a uh, just be a just be an SDMA engine? All right. So I think we craft a new tweet. Um. Uh, in the interests of feasibility feasibility um, open source the uh, GC go to firmware go to the GC um, CP MES RLC PFP -E MEC and the SDMA. Um, provide relevant docs. They won't do it. I don't know. They won't do it. Maybe in two years. Maybe in two years. Uh, Hey. Yeah, all right, brainstorming time. What, what are we, like this is so fun. This is so fun and it's so, it's so sad. What would it take to get AMD to where Nvidia is? I mean, their hardware is not close, but that's mostly not the problem. Uh, mostly the problem is that there is, that there is, okay. So we ripped, we ripped down all of the user space. Um, again, if you do not believe me, go check out Master on TinyGrad on a new computer. Go check out Master on Tiny Grad on a new computer. Ooh, it reduces March. Um, Master on Tiny Grad on a new computer. Install the following two packages. HSA Rock R and Co-Manager, right? HSA Rock R is a minimalist runtime. Co-Manager is the compiler. It's possible to bypass both of them. Uh, with, with like we, we actually did this. We bypassed all of AMD's user space. Uh, we're not using any of their hip extensions either. We still have the Bfloat 16 hip extension. That's why the tests are failing right now, but that's actually gonna take two hours to rip out. Um, and it's disgusting. And it's just, they cast everything to float. So, you know, don't expect anything. Um, the, you can read there, you can read hip Bfloat 16. It just actually hides the fact that they don't do Bfloat, their ALU doesn't support Bfloat 16, right? Um, yeah, you want to see, you want to see something funny? You want to see, you want to see like, 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 I don't know. I mean, to be fair, uh, hip B float 16.h. Why, why is this so, um, let's go to something like, I don't know, tiny 15. Read this file. 
This is what you get with hip. So like, oh, look, it creates this thing called hip bfloat 16. Oh, you want to you wanna add bfloat 16s? Well, we're just going to cast it to float. Oh, you want to subtract bfloat 16s? Oh, we're just going to cast it to float. Oh, you want to multiply them? Yeah, float. Why not float? Divide them? Floats. Uh, yeah, so like, you know, that's, yeah. Uh, that's that. So we're gonna wrap that out, and then, then we're completely free of anything hip AMD user space related. Cause why not? Just cast it to a flow. This is great. That's great. Um, seems very buoyant. Uh, yeah. Um, we can bypass HSA KMT too with uh, with KFD. Uh, you just basically need the structs. So like we did it, we ripped out the user space, right? But it turns out that even though we've ripped through layers of user space, multiple layers, no rock M, no hip, there's an equal number of stupid layers in the kernel that all need to be ripped out, right? I don't want to use an AQL queue. I want to actually submit it to the hardware queue on the device, right? And I bet you that eventually when you get to the bottom, we're, we're going to have to be an optimist and say the hardware doesn't have any bugs. Um, the hardware probably, well, they might have bugs, but we're going to assume the hardware doesn't have bugs. We're going to assume that all this shit is in the 37 layers of, of, of translation code. Using MI Open KDB? What's a KDB file? Pre-compiled kernels. I don't think it's the same KDB. Um, yeah, or like if there's hardware bugs, okay, we'll work around a hardware bug. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's that. I think that's just an thing. Um, yeah. Uh, no need to touch signing. No need to open source PSP. Uh, SMU welcome, but also probably not needed. Like I'm reasonable. That's my ask. That's my ask. Uh, yeah. This was also my ask nine months ago. Uh, nothing was open sourced. No docs were provided. And, uh, you know, jerking around happened. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of stupid business jargon, multiple Microsoft Teams calls. Got fooled by ats, you know, at least Sue ats me and I think this is something. Like, no, open source is shit. Um, does AMD suck? Yes. Yes. Would access to an MI300 help me? No. Uh, MI300 is an older version of the firmware that was forked multiple times ago that they hand patch every bug for, I'm sure. So, uh, you know, uh, MI300 is based off of GFX9. You could go, I can show you where that is in the code and stuff. So. Um, KDB debug hooks for Radeon. Ooh, kernel debugger shell. This is this is looking more likely. Uh, I don't know. Um for reference, all of this stuff in TensTor is open source and relatively documented. Uh, I haven't seen register docs, but like their registers are not just like, like uh, NVIDIA's registers are actually better documented than this. Uh, you can go look in, in NVIDIA's, uh, like they have these, yeah. That one's kind of documented. 
But those other ones I was looking at had no documentation. Yeah, I think you're right about it. Yeah, it's maybe it's a debug. Maybe it's a debug uh, PSP kernel. Um, yeah. So that that's my ask. Uh, on Monday, we have to dismantle these computers. Like, uh, I'm not gonna sit here while the thing stalls and I have no insight into what actually stalled, right? Like, 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 or are there debugging tools? Um, debugging tools, very welcome, right? Like a, like a tool, a tool that shows, uh, yeah. And like, do this by Monday. What, what are you, what are you, you're either going to do it or you're not going to do it, you know? I mean, they're not going to do it. And yeah, we're going to move on. If they open only docs, would it be possible to write your own firmware? Yeah, I mean, maybe. That, that's not exactly clear. I think with, with like docs, we'd really be on the right, on the right track. I'm not that worried about the signing. Um, yeah. But that's the kind of stuff that would be needed to write an actual uh, performant and reliable GPU driver. I don't think, let's look at the SMU for a minute. I actually don't think we need it at all. Well, I'm glad now that I know, now I know exactly what I'm asking for. Um, so who thinks AMD watches the stream? Tenstor won't watch the stream. You think not? One guy from the CPU department watches it, maybe. Their lawyers watch it. There's lawyers watching to see if we used any leaks. <laughs> uh, that's why AMD CPUs are great. Yes. I mean, they are great. AMD makes great CPUs. It's a shame their GPUs are shit. Uh, do we need... I had a list of the all the, the SMU uh, instructions. I don't think they matter. No, I don't care about it. like power stuff. This doesn't matter. I don't care about this as long as it works. I don't think this is where the bugs are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baco. Yeah, I don't care about that. Uh, no need to open source PSP or SMU. Did a tier one sub to AMD. Wait, there's actually someone in here called AMD. <laughs> um, the difference is in, yeah, the difference is Jim, right? The <laughs> Everything Jim shows up. Uh, God. <laughs> Who changed, who changed their shit? Who changed their name to AMD? <laughs> oh, you can give to people which aren't here. <laughs> um, yep. So, um, if zero by Monday, we are done. Zero docs. If zero relevant docs or code by Monday, we are done. Not going to help those who don't want to help themselves. 
I'm just going to say register docs, docs in general. We are done. Dumping. I think I have, I think I have like, like 72. Hex on eBay. Oh wait, 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 we forgot, we forgot one stupid acronym. Uh, oh, the RLC, we need the RLC. <laughs> don't forget the RLC. You know that whichever one I forget, oh no, good, we have the RLC, good. You don't want to say the RLC twice, it's not that important. <laughs> uh, I don't think we have a CE anymore. We have three messes. What's the IMU? Oh, did we ever figure out what the IMU is? Let's figure out what the IMU is. That might be important. We might need an IMU. Uh, let's see if we have IMUs in here. Now, I don't think it's an actual measurement unit. I don't think GPUs have gyros. Oh, do we want to put it in mission mode? No, uh, no, 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 that's not, that's the wrong KDB. I, I don't care about KDB. I don't care about the PSP. We care about the IMU. What's the IMU? It's not my fire alarm, it's in the hallway. Integrated memory controller. No, we can't switch to TENS torrent as much as we might want to. All it seems to do is program the RLC's RAM. <laughs> Yeah, okay, great. We remove the IMU, but what is the IMU? Yeah, it never worked properly. None of this shit ever worked properly. Integrated memory controller utility. Okay, I want that. I want that. Can, can you have a link? Can you show me where that is? All right, the CE is not real anymore. We don't need a CE. We do need an MES. Why is this so badly documented? It's a great question, bro. It's a great question. Wait, what happened to my dumping on eBay? Performant and reliable 
ML accelerator. Oh, you're not believing in the rebound in the near future? You're liquidating your RSUs, bro. Like, I don't know. You know, it's hard to say whether stocks are going to go up or down. The stock market has nothing to do with anything. But if you think AMD is ever going to have... If you're... It depends how you price the stock, right? What is AMD's share? Wow, I didn't realize Intel actually had nothing. Oh no, they don't really have nothing. Okay. So, um, yeah. Wait. Okay, never mind. Intel actually has all of them. What about discrete GPUs? Discrete. PC DGPUs. No, 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 that doesn't make sense. Oh, here, DGPUs. Oh, this is right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So, um, in Q3 2022, uh, NVIDIA had 88%. Intel had 4% and AMD had 8%. Uh, guess what the breakdown of ML accelerators is gonna look like? Exactly the same. So, asking the question, is AMD stock gonna go up or gonna go down? Do you, do you believe that they are going to achieve more than an 8% share of the market? And then the, the better question here is how many of those 8% of gamers regret purchasing AMT? <laughs> nobody regrets purchasing NVIDIA. <laughs> Their pocketbook might regret it, but nobody regrets it. AMD mid-tier GPUs are selling really well. Yeah, 8% of the market, bro. 8%. Oh, yeah, don't use nickel. What? So, like, Tiny Brad has the same. Um, do, do I think it will grow? No, I think that that's going to be the way of things. I don't see this changing. I, I, again, and that's just what, that's just what's so, like, sad. It very well make it worse. I mean, it also it also matters how much Nvidia cares, right? Nvidia could have all of it. Nvidia could could. It's just it's just a margin calculation for them, right? I think that even if AMD, what, what was what what did Jensen say? He said that we're going to make it so other accelerators are worth zero dollars, as in even if you got them for free, nobody wants them. Uh, it doesn't matter. They're gonna just drop the 5090. As far as I know, AMD has nothing to come back with. The RDNA 3 documents the instruction set, which is fine, it's nice. It's actually, that instruction set doc's actually better than Intel's. Uh, it's way more readable. Intel's is hard to read. It's not that Intel's incomplete, it's just hard to read. It's very verbose. Um, but that's the only piece of documentation that was released uh, on, on the 7900 XTX. 
Uh, so I don't know. I don't even think we need to post this on Twitter. I think that that's kind of the. Uh, yeah, they dropped. Yeah, Big Navi Forty One has dropped. They they say they're gonna do one for our DNA Five. Um, someone in here posted that Nvidia is doing something different. The way like the AMD is doing WAMA and Nvidia is putting tensor cores on each on each SM or something. I don't exactly know what that means. Um, Watch the 5090 come out for $1,800. What? I'd be so happy at $1,800. That's fire, man. Yeah, that's how much a 4090 costs. Uh, yeah, Radeon's issue is not hardware. Their hardware is decent. It's just non-existent software. Well, it's all this shit complexity. Like, I just want to rip through all of it. I want to I want to I want to tear through this entire driver in the same way that we tore through their entire user space provably publicly verifiably. So I, I ask I ask I ask this question and I asked this question and I asked this question in the email in the last email I said they have because I'm I mean like uh, I'm just like like I'm not going to waste my time reverse engineering this shit. It's so I'm so upset. I'm less upset right now. I actually, like, I feel good just doing this. But I'm not going to do, like, it's such a bad business decision. I love doing this kind of stuff, but it's such a bad business decision. Yeah, we're going to sponsor, we're going to switch to a video. No, I, I can't give them more time. I gave them nine months. They didn't do shit. Like, I, I can't, I can't continue to, our computers are here. Tiny boxes are ready to ship. We're, we're qualifying the 4090 one. It looks sick. Um, I mean, also, when you get the NVIDIA one, everything just works. GPT Fast works. All the PyTorch examples work. Like, we have to deliver a product. You know? Can I finish Tiny Grand and move on to Hair Girlfriends? Everything with NVIDIA just works. And, like, we shouldn't be messing around with this. I'm down to if I have documentation, I'm down to mess around with this because it's stuff that we're going to have to be able to do as a company. Right? Like, here's the philosophy, right? If, here, if someone wants to screenshot this and put it on Twitter. Uh, if we, I saw, I saw another one of the tweets got a thousand likes. If we can't, um, like, if using AMD is harder then taping out our own chip. We'll do that. Like, I thought AMD was going to be a win. I thought that AMD was going to save us time. I thought that AMD was a cute way to not have to tape out their own chip. And what I thought was this, I, I didn't think they're like, I thought that this would have extreme value to AMD. Like, a, a few things, like, 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 it doesn't really make that much sense to me. It, it, it's fine if they think that we're not capable of fixing their driver, right? But if we, if they think we are capable of fixing their driver, what are they doing? It's fine if they think we're not capable and just like like say that. But why would you like you're just going to continue to lose? I don't know, but uh, yeah, people try to believe in AMD for good two decades by now and like you got to just yeah. I, I know. Something's just broken in the company. No, I mean, they're not thinking. They're not thinking. And this is, this is what's so hard for me to understand. Um, you know, like the, the Elon Musk style of company makes sense to me. Like, you could talk to the guy and he could make a decision. Right? And he might say no. He might very well say no. 
We might say yes. But either way, there is somebody who can make a decision. And this is why Elon, this is why I believe in everything Elon does. This fact alone gives him, <laughs> he, can, he can fuck everything else up. But the fact that there is one guy, there is Mr. Elon Musk, who can make a decision, gives him the biggest edge over everybody else. Even if half his decisions are stupid. Nobody at AMD has the button. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you. My lingo. My lingo. Who thinks I'm wrong about this? You know, I'm coming back. I do this, I just grow more confident in my... George, you're just, you're just falling for confidence in your own worldview. Um, yeah. It's just, it's just, man. No. No, Lisa Sue replied to a few of my emails. I don't think she can fix this. I don't think anyone can fix this. Like, I, I think, I think, you know what it kind of is? And I think there's worse companies than AMD. I think there's considerably worse companies than AMD. But uh, I'm not. I'm talking about like Boeing, right? Hey, AMD is not Boeing tier, right? I think that these companies like Boeing have been lobotomized. I think that they're 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 they lack like they lack a prefrontal cortex. The companies lack a prefrontal cortex. I think it's kind of the, 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 way to, the, way to, the way to say it. And, I mean, these companies are all going to die. I don't think the stock really correlates to, to anything. Like, th these companies may be tied uh, with, the, with the U.S., right? And like, look, I'm not, I'm not saying that the U.S. is going gonna, is gonna to collapse tomorrow. It's, it's, it's not. Um, it, it's actually probably just going to continue to get worse. Uh, the U.S. doesn't collapse. The U.S. falls the same way Britain falls. And all these companies end up falling in the same way. Like, name a, name a, name a British company. I think that that's what happens, right? It's not like America collapses. America just goes the way of Britain. Uh, Brazil, yeah, yeah. British Petroleum, okay. Arm, okay. Rolls Royce, okay. Um, I don't know why Arm is so valuable right now also. Like, Arm used to be this relatively small company that people were like, yeah, you know, whatever, man. Like, if they license their thing, it's cheap enough. Um, but, you know, I mean, America is going to die with slow decay. These companies are going to die with slow decay. I, I, I think that, yeah. Um, I mean, okay. Oh, the, the, the best one I've heard was like, yeah, ARM and BP. ARM announced AI. Um, there's no company called DeepMind. Are, are you talking about the company Google? Are you talking about the company Google? By the way, you know, you guys thought I was like, I, I like, I like, um, French jokes. Memes about groups of people may be disturbing or hurtful. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Google. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't, uh, Google made one product in 10 years and it refused to create images of white people. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know about BP. I, I'm saying like, they're not, yeah. No, I meant French jokes. I meant jokes in French, of course. Um... Their shares went to the moon after AI chip announcements. Oh, bro, I wish I had a longer time horizon to short this shit.
<laughs> Are they going to change their name to Kodak AI? <laughs> Remember when they did Kodak Blockchain? Um, yeah. <sighs> an arm back by the fund I don't know I mean look why does Nvidia succeed right Nvidia succeeds because of this guy he is Mr. Nvidia wait none of these guys none of these guys are Mr. Nvidia where is Mr. Nvidia there's Mr. Nvidia right Nvidia succeeds because there's a Mr. Nvidia you can talk to him he's actually pretty accessible um, did it warn me? Did it warn me? Does it want to warn me about that picture? Um, I should get a leather jacket and go and get Kava's look, man. <laughs> you trust Sam Altman? <laughs> Remember, I, I said there was a clip where I said that Sam Altman and Elon are liars. Yeah, e Elon lies because he's an optimist, mostly. <laughs> Sort of, I don't know. I mean, there's some things that are just like go beyond the pale of optimism. But overall, Elon's lies are directionally toward making the world better. Sam Altman's lies are directionally towards Sam Altman increasing Sam Altman's power. Um, all right. What happens if AMD hires Steve Ballmer? Well, developers, developers, developers. Uh, open source your shit. Um, there's my, um, we'll tape out a chip. Tape out a chip. We'll skip, skip AMD and tape out a chip. Uh, yep. Hmm. I don't need touch signing. I need to open source the PSP or SMU. I promise whatever the signing thing is, I'll find a way around. I don't care about that. Um, uh, there's so much, there's so much surface area. Um, if there's nothing, if there's more platitudes, promises, eh, we're out. Dump the GPUs on eBay. Well, what should we sell them for, guys? What would you buy? God, I'm tanking the price of my own shitcoin. I own 72 of this shitcoin, and I'm tanking the price of it right now. All right, what would you pay? What would you, 420 USD, is that, is that what you'd pay 500 bucks, 299 buck? Right? I'm tanking the price of my shit coin. I went on a huge rant about how bad it was shit, I should have dumped first. <laughs> One Nvidia share, how much is an Nvidia share? That might be a good deal. <laughs> Yo, I'll take an Nvidia share. Yeah, give me 72 Nvidia shares. <laughs> Why you give a thousand bucks for this shit GPU? Um, oh, I give you a thousand dollars and the GPUs. So you dump them in the ocean. <laughs> uh, you will not take them for free. You would take one, but you already have an Nvidia, right? Um, Seventy-two AMD shares. Oh, so what's an AMD share worth? Oh, oh, oh. Um, uh, yeah, that's, 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 uh, that's a hard sell. Um, you could buy it, but does it work great with AI? Well, it would if the software were improved. No, I'm kidding about the stock price thing. I, I know, I know about, yeah. They can just do a split, bro. They can just do a split. They do splits and then they fool retail. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I feel better. Um, I feel better after, after having done this. Uh, no, AMD, they, they, they tried to set up a Microsoft Teams call. Uh, I told them, uh, open source your shit. I'm, I'm not doing it. You know what I, like, what, what, you know, you want to figure out how to, how to, how to meet my needs? Like, I'm not, I'm not going to like, I'm like, again, I don't think these are bad people. 
I, I think that, like, imagine you want to help, but you can't do anything. Um, I just went through a breakup. I know, I know, but you know, I'm glad you guys are here with me. Um, let's hold an open source rally, guys. But it's not. It's just. Smash him on stream. Nerf i I'm glad you enjoyed it. Congratulations. Welcome to your, your new VIP status on stream. Uh, let's just push the latest shit here. We'll just call it something. Uh, you didn't like my commit called something? Uh, oh, I was on the front page of Twitch. All right, cool. Yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do a little bit more of this on Saturday. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'll put a poll on Twitter. Uh, will NVIDIA open source anything? Will, 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 will AMD release, will, will AMD open source anything by Monday? Yes, no, show results, right? That sounds good. All right. Bye, everybody. Have a good night.